I'm back yeah. again. Come on, Ian. Come on. <laughs>
there's default, there's default things to worry about regardless, man. And we've also got to remember, while, you know, we ain't been in this circumstance in a while, we can talk about the last game, we've got threats of our own. Bakayo Saka, show people what you're on. Martinelli, show people what you're on. I, you know, big up Thomas Ducal because he's shown us nothing but respect and been nothing but complimentary in the way he's spoken about this football club and where we're going and what we're doing. So he knows of the threat. Only worry for me is Jorginho, no pace on it, can run through the middle. I guess that means Odegaard, in a sense, and more so Declan Rice and Tommy Asu and all of these guys are going to have to be switched on even more. I do think it could balance itself out. Obviously, it's something that could harm you because of certain areas of the pitch. But from what Odegaard does for us defensively, as much as he's not a defender, for what Kai Havertz, in theory, dropping into midfield, Martinelli defensively could put in a shift. Declan Rice is there. You've got Tommy Asu, who's a bit more street smart than other individuals. So it should balance itself out, per se. But it undoubtedly is a worry, man. Well, Lahi, if we get rubbed out, I'm not going to work tomorrow. Hey, man, the world keeps spinning, man. Don't let Arsenal, a team that, as much as we love the football club, you can't dictate anything, stop you from getting paid, man. What's all that about? Get your bills paid, man. North London forever, good song, but I'm from Sheffield. Big up yourself, Dominic, and big up the Sheffield ones, man. I mean, I'm a North Londoner, so it kind of hits different if we don't do what needs to be done today. Predictions? People, predictions. You've got to be optimistic in days like this, man. It's all to play for. You know what? The romantic in me. Rah, shout out Cedric. How the hell has Cedric been able to travel? Big him up. Best job in the world um, alongside Scott Carson. I'm going to say 2-1 Arsenal. Yeah. Sorry, people. I'm just doing all the calculations in my head of possible scenarios that we could see today. Again, to the left and right of me, you can see the starting lineup, but just because it looks a bit prettier. Raya, White, Saliba, Gabriel, Tomiyasu, Rice, Jorginho, Odegaard, Saka, Martinelli and Kai Havertz. On the bench, two goalkeepers in Kyle Hine and Aaron Ramsdale. Zinchenko, which again... I welcome all discourse about Zinchenko. Kirill, who arguably could have started. Thomas Partey, El Nene, forgotten man Fabio Vieira. Emil Smith-Rowe, Nelson is back, but probably because we can have more uh, subs on the bench. Trossard, Jesus, and Enketia. Now, looking at our bench, you never want to... Well, to be fair, everything's reactive in the game, but you never want to have to rely to your bench to score goals, if that makes sense, because typically it's drama. A bit like Jesus and Trossard's impact off the bench um, in, the last, in the last leg against these lot. But... To see Trossard, Jesus on the bench, strong options. In terms of closing out the game, you've got Thomas Partey and you've got Kirill. Boy, big up El Nene as well in the cut. So it's going to be a difficult one. Again, you're looking at Bayern Munich's lineup. I'll leave that there for you for a sec. Let me know your thoughts, your predictions, your talking points, your questions, everything, people. Yeah, RIP angry rap, man, man. That's quite harsh. Need a goal in the first half. Goals are always welcome. Please also make sure if you're on YouTube, big up you lot on Twitch, that you're smashing the like button. We've got 50 minutes until kickoff. I'm sure we've got plenty, plenty, plenty to talk about, people. And how glorious would it be to get into the semi-finals of the Champions League? You know, Arsenal versus Dortmund final could be lit. Thoughts on the Barca game and the ref. Shout out to everyone who was part of my watch-along because we did obviously do a watch-along for PSG Barca. A weird one because I think PSG started very well, if I'm honest with you. Um, and then it was almost like a sucker punch, like the one half-decent thing Barca did at that point. The young 16-year-old, talented Yalmao obviously set up a goal. And then, you know, the, the red card's always going to impact the game. And then it was just a case of PSG, it just PSG attacking Barcelona you know, half for the majority of the 90 minutes and eventually they caved in. Filled with drama, man. The Champions League latter stages have been quite entertaining. Hopefully that's not said today, um, unfortunately, football fans. But for Arsenal fans, hopefully it means we win. I'm just glad that fraud Zinni isn't starting, brother. Harsh to call him a fraud, man. Harsh. But I wouldn't start Zinchenko in a game like this. You can't rule out him coming off the bench and things of that ilk, but... Respectfully, it'd be suicidal, wouldn't it, really? Because he looked at as food. To be brutally fair to Zinchenko, though, I personally feel while he was poor to a point at Aston Villa at the weekend, he made a good impact in, in the Bayern Munich game. And whether I think he's a key player like that or not, everybody needs to stand up to be counted today for one. But I do look at the Trossards, Jesus, Zinchenko's, Thomas Partey, Jorginho's, Declan Rice, Havertz, to a degree Odegaard, are more experienced players to kind of lead. And I think they did that at the Emirates. And to be fair, brutally honest with you, Zinchenko, we've been here and it will be here all day saying the same things about his deficiencies defensively. Like we, Zinchenko's an open book in that regard. I'm not going to lie though, you would think he's the only one who didn't perform to the best that he could possibly could have against Aston Villa because both goals 
you can't just blame Zinchenko, if I'm honest with you. Like, the whole team has switched off for that goal from a corner. You know, Declan Rice, Saliba, Gabriel, Raya, several players. Kai Havertz, obviously, a lot of them players that are listed have a lot more credit in the bank, and that's where it lies with. The second goal that we've conceded, we're caught in the transition because we're naively trying to get back in the game. Jorginho's trying to play a Hollywood pass after Zinchenko's actually won the ball back. And then we're in problems. You know, you've got Smith Rowe almost acting like a centre-half, and that's not what made him a pro baller. I don't think Zinchenko is a key player per se in the squad in certain circumstances, 100%. But I would like defensive reinforcements in the summer. I would like, in an ideal world, someone like Tommy Asu and Timber that can play all across the defence. But I wouldn't mind a right-back because Benjamin White has to play every game, essentially. And even Cedric. Cedric won't be here in any capacity next season, not that he's on the bench at the moment. Um, but I would like another... I would like some reinforcements on the left-hand side as well in defence. So it's interesting. So Zinchenko would... would kind of be in issues with that. And I, I won't say the system's left him, but it kind of has. We, we've become a stronger team. And unfortunately, with Zinchenko, if I'm brutally honest, he's obviously an athlete. He's a professional footballer. But in comparison to his teammates, you know, physically in the robustness, he's not that. And unfortunately, if we look at our best team from last season, like at last season, what we would have said, um, Ramsdale in goal, obviously Saliba, Benjamin White, Gabriel Zinchenko would be left back in midfield, Granit Xhaka, Thomas Partey and Martin Oldegaard. The right, you had Saka. The left, you had Martinelli. And generally, well, it was Gabriel Jesus. If you look at that team at the time and you as an opposition manager, not that anyone else can't make mistakes or there isn't weak spots in the Arsenal team per se. And I think if you go and look at Uno Emery's comments and how, you know, Sky Sports actually, I'm never going to praise them, but they actually did a good job kind of breaking down what Emery did. There's many areas in our squad. But if you looked at that, Zinchenko's the one to really get. You you know that he's not switched on defensively. So you're going to get that. You know he's going to vacate his space. You know there's going to be several issues there, but I'm just not a fan of the scapegoating, I guess, man. I bet on Bayern because why not make money in case we lose? I hear that. I hear that. Imagine now then he comes on and wins the game. Don't care who scores, how we do it. Just do it really and truly. 154 views, 69 likes. Pick it up, people. Appreciative. And appreciative to the 20 people who hit the like button um, before the stream actually started. Happy to see you too, Antonio, man. Top fans like yourself, man. I'm predicting 3-2 Arsenal. Nail by a settings, really. What other tabs have I got? Tab police. Let's move on. I mean, Pastor Timber has come out and with stuff and somebody's been kind enough on Twitter to translate the biblical verse. And obviously, whatever religion or background you lot believe in, find the equivalent. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realise that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. Don't fail the test today at Bayern Munich, innit? Simple business. Trossard has spoken and said, when everyone thinks we are dead and buried, we go and win the Champions League. This is what Arsenal's all about. I don't know if he's actually said this, but it sounds great, doesn't it, people? So we're going to need to be switched on. And it's mad how football's a funny old game in that, you know, essentially 11 players, 11 people that we don't know can dictate our mood for the next couple of hours, days, years, whatever. Apparently, Arsenal have announced a new four-year deal with the Emirates people, which will be worth £60 million a year. Thus, the value of the central spot on the Arsenal shirt will be equal to that of Real Madrid shirt. Boy, that'd be nice to be there and get your <laughs> inhalers and whatnot ready. Blood pressure's about to start rising, folks. Again, when you look at Bayern Munich, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? The last couple of matches we've played, it doesn't make for playing for nice reading, does it? But things have to come to an end. Things change. Boy, we drew 2-2 in our last game. The last time prior to that, we played them. They smacked us 5-1. Then they beat us 5-1. Then they beat us 5-1. Apparently, they're unbeaten in their last 14 home games in the Champions League. They're aiming to progress to the Champions League semi-finals for the 13th time. And they have won four um, games against Arsenal people out of the six and still advance to the next round despite the defeat. Boy, so it's going to be difficult. Really big task. Thomas Tuchel said, I have a feeling that our supporters are aware of the quality Arsenal has shown in recent years. It's not the same Arsenal that, that they previously beat comfortably. So everyone is well aware about the difficulty of the task, but the expectation is always there at Bayern Munich. Ain't been there domestically. Hopefully that's the case. Trossard has said, it's a big game for everyone and we want to win that game to get through to the semis. We've already shown it this season that when we lose or draw, we want to come back even stronger. It's a great opportunity to show that. Everyone is ready and we want to win the game. Up until the last game, we had such an incredible run and we still have that belief to come here to get a result. Inshallah, my guy. The atmosphere and the support will no doubt be incredible and that will give us a push. I'm really fired up for the game, said Eric Dyer. Get at him immediately because say what you want about Bayern Munich and they're great players. Eric Dyer shouldn't be talking. Not just because of his ex-Spurs ties. Let 
Kane and Delir and all these magical players. You should not have the confidence, Dyer, because we did this. You see, today, whether we win, lose, or draw, get at that man because we let him leave the Emirates with some credibility. And I, that what that's what annoyed me. And I don't even think I will I pull it in the tactical review of the game. Um, a couple of times we're pressing. The, Eric Dyer is the one giving it away, he's the one panicking going long, and we stopped doing that at the Emirates. Uh, Tuchel has been complimentary as well. And he said, they play a very attractive brand of football at the highest level. We did it well in the first leg, but we're only halfway through the tie. We need everything again and hope that playing at home will give us the boost we need. They're playing at home. They have significantly more experience than us. They're, that's what's working in their hands. For us, we ain't been here before. If you ain't got experience, you need to create history. Um, Kane said, we defended very well, very well and made it difficult for them to create chances. Tomorrow we'll be playing at home and can build on the energy created by our fans. We know we're stepping into the lines then in that regard. Arteta on the first leg said, I really like the way the team reacted when it went to 2-1 against Bayern in the first leg. That's when you can throw your toys and lose discipline and throw the tie away and we didn't do it. Emotionally, we were really stable and we waited for our moment, scored a great goal and we were, we were in the game right until the very end to try and win it. It leaves the tie in a much better position. We could have done better, could have done worse, count our blessings. He also said it's a joy and it's a privilege to have the opportunity to potentially reach such. And he said, I feel it for the last 10 months since we went to the pre-season and went to LA. And we talked about what we could see happening in the season. We could see how much they were growing and how much they wanted. So good times could be developing at the Emirates. We need the star boy today. Most goal involvements in a single Champions League campaign for Arsenal. Omri has 11 and then 10. Saka's got eight. So make some history, man. Could you get a hat-trick today? Because there have been a lot of chattings. I'm seeing certain fake star boys getting, getting hat-tricks. And as much as I like, I love Bakayo Saka. And I think Cole Palmer and these guys are good players. Social media loves agendas. So, yeah, people, I don't know why I closed the Bayern Munich one, but you can see it to the left and right of me. Did you see Arsenal's leaked shirt for next season? I saw what allegedly is it, but is it actually confirmed? Looks all right, though, man. We're going to win this, boys. KG, I hope you're right, man. I want to win it. Smash the like button, people. If we don't get to 200 likes by the end of the stream, we're out. I'm getting a bit nervous. I almost said me, I'm getting a bit nervous. Why are they showing us losing to Aston Villa? <sighs> It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Imagine Cedric scores a weldy and starts the rest of the games. Well, he can't do that today, but it'd be lit. Trossard and Havertz lost us the game on Sunday, not Zinni. I hear that. We all lost it, man. We all lost it. You know, we can't finger point. You know, we can sit here and say Zinchenko and all the other examples I gave defensively. We could talk about Tr Trossard's lack of uh, lack of cutting edge in front of goal. We could talk about probably some other players. Collectively, we didn't do what needed to be done in the second half. We completely switched off. We're all in this together, man. You know, if we want to blame individuals, if we blame that individual, can everyone say they were 20 out of 10 for the remainder of the game? Which they can't. And if they could, I'd ask them the question, why didn't we win the game then? Why didn't? Why wasn't it a thing like when Ramsdale made that mistake against Brentford, we still got the three points? Or many other times where BS has happened. Bayern free Arsenal one. Hope not Ronald, man. It is going to be a tough game. But could we expect anything less? You're as good as your weakest link. True. If he played in midfield, we'd be having very different conversations about his performances. I hear that, but I also think Zinchenko in midfield be overrated. And I think that because, rightly so, he's played there for Ukraine. He has the capabilities to play in midfield. He does basically play in midfield, obviously, you know, in real time in the game. Um, and I have never had a conversation with Pep Guardiola or Mik Mikel Arteta. And just before I carry on, he plays in midfield for his country, Ukraine. But moving on, why didn't Pep play him in midfield? Why didn't why didn't Mikel Arteta play him in midfield on a consistent basis? I'm a I'm a fullback people. I play left or right back, you know. I know how it feels to want to play in another position and maybe not be good enough and get moved there. And that's what let's be real, that's what's happened to Zinchenko. He couldn't cut the mustard as a 10 or an eight. Go and look at Mikel Arteta's initial comments on Arsenal.com when he signed him and when he spoke about his city times or when he signed for City. I rate him because I did the same thing. I saw a couple of players are better than me. If I go fullback, I'm probably better than him. Got a bit of drip going forward, yeah? Can lock it down. That's why he's doing that. And he will go to sleep, especially in this high-pressing system. He will he will go to sleep defensively. The only time Zinchenko will be about defensively is when he kind of has to be enough. For what it's worth, I actually think Zinchenko's improved defensively. These metrics reflect that. I It's a bit weird because in the last couple of games, we've criticised him defensively. And I mean, that kind of shows the issues. He's actually done well in the game and then messed up. But I think he'll be overrated. Of course, you know, I, I would more like to see Zinchenko in certain games 
play instead of come off the bench for Odegaard or, or players at eight in games we're going to dominate proceedings. But there's got to be something in his game because which I can't answer. It's not. It's clearly not technical level and passing and all of that. That's Inchenko's bread and butter. But it's probably off the ball. You know, Jorginho's positioning. He might not have. He might not be as quick as Inchenko, but he's quick up there. That's the one thing that will save even someone like Jorginho who is obviously an athlete, once again, being a professional footballer, but in comparison to some of his teammates, would not say that. You look at Declan Rice, you look at you look at uh, Thomas Partey when he's there, you look at El Nene, you know, you look at even the guys that played there at times in Smith Rowe, Fabio Vieira, Kai Havertz, they all have that on him. Even Martin Odegaard, you know, if, if obviously I think Martin Odegaard's a bit more crisper in the final third, that's why he's playing as a 10 or an 8, but there's not really technically, there's probably nothing really that separates either play or put, like to a mad golf. But Odegaard off the ball is so much better, really. So I don't know, man. For me, Zinchenko, it, it, if there is 40-odd million pound offers, two years on his contract, he is injured a lot as well, which I think is even a greater point. If you bring in a left back to go with Timber coming back and Tommy Asu and Kirill getting better and better if he keeps doing that, then it is what it is. But I still think Zinni's got a role to play at this club, man. I think if there's offers, by all means, it is what it is. We're trying to get better, but... I wouldn't say he's on the he's one of the first out at the club in the summer and whatnot. We need Kirill. I mean, Kirill probably would have been my option if it wasn't for Tommy, but Tommy's there, isn't it? Zinni makes a lot of mistakes on the ball. If he played in midfield, he'd give the ball away a lot. That's also true, you know. But at the same time, you've got to take risks in midfield. So you do have to force it, but you're right. You know, you look at Bruno Fernandes ain't really the best example. Because uh, he gives the ball a lot, away a lot, but he does the spam thing and they score goals. But you look at Kevin De Bruyne, Odegaard, people of that ilk. Of course, there's going to Trent when you know when he does them passes. Obviously, there's an element of wastefulness because it's risk to reward. You're not going to win every bet in the bookies, are you? But their like hit to miss ratio with them killer passes and all of that jazz is a lot better than what it'd be with Zinchenko. Like I, I'm, I'm not being disingenuous, but I think Zinchenko would be very over. Like I think the illusion is better than what you'd actually see in midfield if he played there, really. But he can play in that opportunity, in, in that. And I think he's got mentality and all that jazz, so I'll keep him, but it is what it is. My United fans have ironed their buyer shirts today. We do need Timber, but yeah. And I think you're bang on in that, you know, he'll give the ball away a lot more in midfield. And again, if you're going to give it away and not really have, you know, really make up for your mistakes, we're going to talk about the same things. Havart's done it for Leverkusen. It's good, man, but I ain't seen you do it for Chelsea. Or us at the moment in that regard. If we get to the semis, are we home or away first leg? Honestly, I don't know. Could someone help me in the chat? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it goes back to whichever team was protect, you know, when they drew in theory the semis, whichever team came out for the quarterfinals first. Like, was it? I swear Bayern got drawn before us. I don't know. Because so I don't know what side we would fall if we did go at advance against Real Madrid and City. Nelly balling out today. By God's grace, man. By God's... Martinelli needs it. I'll be real. Martinelli, Gabriel, Jesus, Trossard. I would. I want... I just want to win. I don't care about individuals. But I think there's a lot... There's a lot of fair discord about all of them. But I think they're... None are really convincing. Like, I think Martinelli was the first choice today. I probably would have leaned towards Gabriel, Jesus. Uh, and Trossard is a bit of an enigma in himself. Didn't have the best games against Villa, but has earned... Deserved to start a lot more games. But all three of them are hardly unanimously convincing us Arsenal fans. And where you look at it, you know, this is what I mean where... I, I Do you look... Is there anyone that disagrees with Arsenal needing a striker, by the way? And is there people that do agree? Let me know in the comments. But this is what I mean by, like, when we have Discord on this channel, I speak with a lot of my Arsenal friends. I think a lot of people are short-sighted in the sense of... You either hear some people say we don't need a striker because goals are spread out. And then you hear some people say we must need a striker. Where I think it's in the middle in that... You know, we, we've set pieces. The defenders are more likely to score at times. You know, Saka's been doing his thing over the last two years. Odegaard and Martinelli can, have shown they can do that. Kai Havertz of recent has been doing such. Declan Rice has chipped in with a few trots out off the bench and everyone else. Um, but we need a striker, man, especially in games like this in the semi-finals where maybe just some individual brilliance. We need a forward. And I think that's reared its head on a couple of occasions. Aston Villa... Very harsh, but I would say Manchester City away. Definitely West Ham at the Emirates. I did say at the time, I felt when we did hit that barren patch around December and we weren't scoring despite creating a million chances, I did say I think the issues were more psychological because these players have got back to scoring, but we undoubtedly need a forward. And as much as I said it in the first leg, you know, we could sit here and, well, I ain't got the brain capacity to do it, but 
We could talk about Thomas Tuchel as a manager, Arteta, the contrast in styles, the, the, the battles all over the field, all of that kind of stuff. You know, tactics mean everything. They that they they don't tell that they they don't tell the narrative, but they paint the story. Why do you think I watch every game twice and see certain to try and see what things led to what what things in 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 that sense, people? But I do think it comes down to individual brilliance sometimes, man. I really do. I really, especially in the Champions League, take nothing away from what Carlo Ancelotti and Real Madrid have done. They've obviously had great tactics, and Carlo has shown he'll tweak things at certain times and do different things. But it's been the individual brilliance nine times out of ten, man. It has, and you know, someone even like even like Rodri, really. You know, Rodri's not a goal scorer per se, but when he has put the ball in the back of the net, I could be talking absolute nonsense, but I'm sure he scored in the Champions League final for City and he's definitely been a villain against us a few times. I think Arsenal need to get, we're obviously trying to, you know, with the learning curves, because half of these players had to go through it, um, they're obviously being developed with that. The Martin, Martin Odegaard, sorry, he's had two man of the match displays in my opinion, but Kyle Saka, but it feels like we need a couple of those guys, man. Even if you flip it on its head, like look at Bayern Munich, essentially. They by Bayern Munich standards, not so much this season. They were quite poor against us at the Emirates. And Musiala was, but a little bit of vision from Musiala, brilliance from Sane. Obviously, we were crap defensively. Things happen. It feels like we ain't really got that. There are some players that have moments of magic and brilliance. Trossard's done it. Jesus has done it. Kai Havertz has scored some vital goals for us. Saka the same. Collectively, we've done so. Even Declan Rice, you know, again, when he equalised, well, well, not even equalised, when he got things going against Chelsea, when he scored the last minute winner against Man United, and there's probably been some more. But it feels like that's one thing that's missing. And it's, it's difficult because you have to develop that and obviously have the patience with our players to get there one day. Or you've got to put big money. You know, I know he's not the guy like that, or that's not a strength of his, but I just said it with Declan Rice. That cost you 105 million. Forcing it with Kai Havertz, of course, but he well, he scored a winning Champions League goal. He has a claim to it. It costs you 65 million quid. You know, the Rodrigo's, the Vinicius's, the Bellingham's, even Shameless, Yalmao, these kind of players, they cost a lot of money. And I must admit, because going back to what somebody said, half an 31 minutes better yet until kickoff. Somebody asked me about the Barcelona game yesterday. Um, it made me think that Yamal guy is going to be special. Rafinha's finally looking like the player they said. And it's it's a, it's completely left. And I don't think Gundogan regrets it because you've played for Manchester City, won all that stuff. And you've played for a beautiful club in, like, in Barcelona. And I think he's earned that sort of thing. And time's not kind in the sense that Arsenal are developing. But I would, I would have loved to have imagined what Arsenal would have looked like if we got Gundogan, especially because, you know, we're still fighting for titles and things like that. But we can, some Arsenal fans can lie to themselves. We're missing, a, there's many things that need to improve at this club. We're missed, there's a big hole in the left eight. There has, obviously, there's been a mixture of things on that left-hand side, people. Um, you know, we've the main thing, I would say, stability. Rice, Saka and Odegaard have been ever-present. Developments have happened in terms of them getting better. But on the left, different players, people have been injured, loss of form. Granite Jack avoid Kai Havertz has moved out of there. You know, I do think Odegaard was always going to start dropping deeper, but you could argue, arguably say Odegaard having to kind of make the difference up in that regard. If Jorginho's not there and Jorginho can't play every week, there's an issue there. We're not going to get to that next level until that's that's addressed, man. So I would have just imagine Gundogan was there, especially in how Granite Xhaka played in that role towards the end of his career. Here, well, bet yeah, his last season. It's an interesting talking point. And you know what? I'm kind of shameless still, people, because when I go to edit videos and bring out content for you, what's the minute on that? I think there were some interesting sound bites we spoke about there. You know what I mean? I'm always working, folks, for you guys. Always working. Big up you lot. Smash the like button. Let me know your thoughts. And let's crack on. People, give me a second. I'm still here. It just says my TV's going to go to sleep. Well, saw my defence go to sleep last week. Definitely, definitely want to watch this game. And... It's funny how, do you know what, TNT Sports, because I'm seeing it now, they're still doing this Saka debate penalty thing. It's a pen, man. Is Saka looking for it? Is he playing for it? 100%. But Dembele played for that penalty yesterday. It's completely different. Dembele played for that penalty against Cal San Cancelo yesterday. Cancelo's an idiot, and it, the dynamics and the body position is different, but he played for it. Ain't that street smartness? When Henri used to take a tumble, we didn't say that, yeah? Ronaldo, you, Ronaldo been an elite diver unpopular opinion and he rarely ever does it but i've said it before one thing i loved about lionel messi where's the water gone there it is sorry 
One thing I loved about Lionel Messi, but he knew when he knew when to take a tumble. You've got to be able to do that. You've got to be able to do the dark arts if you want to be lit. Sorry to all my Irish fans out there. And you know what? Irish Arsenal fans must have a love-hate relationship with Thierry Henry, but you know, it wouldn't happen now because of VAR. But you saw what Christ you saw what sorry Thierry Henry did. You've got to do that stuff. Come on, fellas, are we mice or men? Liberty, man. You know, when life gives you lemons, try and make some elite henny, isn't it? That's what we've got to do today, if I'm honest with you. And would you rather die on your feet or live an eternity on your knees? There's every reason to not be optimistic. There's every reason to be scared. There's every reason to have every emotion. It's how you channel it. And again, individual brilliance, psychologically, these things for me are arguably more bigger factors than tactics and stuff like that. Big up yourself, Paul, as well, man. Appreciate that. You know, big praise saying best commentary on YouTube. Appreciate that, Paul, man. And love to for your consistent support. Raya White, Saliba, Gabby, Tommy Rice, Odegaard, Jorginho, Saka, Havarts and Gabby. Big up yourself, KD. Boys have to become men at this moment in time, man. Bear wind on that shot. Dino, you're a hater. We still had to stick. Boy, we're just talking about individual brilliance. You need people that do magic things and fair enough, but... Can you lot rise up what you lot did? And in fact, is it still on my Snapchat? Snap reminded me. Oh, I'd have to try and find it. Snap reminded me of one of my... I'm claiming this. If I can find this, I'm claiming this is my goal. You know, when, when is it? I don't want to know you. Where is it? I'm claiming this flashbacks. What's the date today? 16th. Where is it? Where is it? Me definitely want to hear them snaps. Where is it? Sorry, people. I've started... Hey, hey, I can show you a declarized thing as well. Can you not see that? Let me, I'm being seen. Wait, wait. Free the tackle. Oi, oi. And again, one last time, one last time. Before I get to the other bit. Big up Nicholas, man. Hey, green screen not helping. But with a recovery, lad. I should really put that on YouTube. But um, no, let me find it, man. I'm claiming this as my goal. I don't know if you'll be able to see it properly. It's not being kind. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's just me hitting the crossbar. Yeah, this is why you should defend properly at corners, is it? Watch, 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 watch the cross, watch the cross. Hey, see the waviness? I'm claiming that. I'll keep a messed up, but I'm claiming that. I'm claiming that. It, I, I promise you, I promise you the keeper touched it and it went on the line and, and then someone poked it home. I promise you I'm claiming that. I promise you I'm claiming that. I promise you I'm claiming that. <laughs> you hate on man. There's there's madness. The Saka talk is nonsense. Every great attacker dives, meaning they're going to do over contact. That isn't putting them down. Saka's one is poor. If you don't think man are diving, then I'm sorry to inform. He's definitely looking for it, but it's smart play. That's what they say with others. DJ, am I funny? I don't, I don't know. Ask Gal, I don't know. Big up you, though. Martinelli, big game, and he's typically a big game player. He's going to need to be that today. Tommy Asu is our best 1v1 defender he is, and hopefully he lives up to that title, man. Big up yourself, Dan, in the cup. I'm an Irish gooner, and I was embarrassed at the whinging of the Irish FA after that game. Some ex-Ireland players are still on about it. We couldn't defend the set piece. I'm 100% on Henri's side. Rob, shout out to you, and do you know what, Rob? You're a better man than me, because you see, if I was Irish, I, I don't know, man. I, might, I, I don't know if I could forgive Thierry Henry for that, but at the end of the day, if the shoe was on the other foot and there was an Irish lad that could have, would have, and should have done that, he'd be letting his nation down if he didn't do such. And it's nothing personal. It's just, it's just business per se. And like you said, did switch off prior. Big up yourself, Bumpy. DG, if you remember the show before, I did the called starting 11. I deserve a medal. You might just be working at Arsenal in the slab, man. Get me a job. Zinchenko been not surprised. Man's ruined my week, getting bantered since Monday. I'm optimistic tonight, but nervous too. Where do you think the game will be won, broski? Well, in each other's goals, really. Um, but I think for us, the left-hand side, you know, I think all the talk will be, you know, about Saka and all of that. But I, I think, I just have a feeling something's going to happen down the left-hand side. And I'd say on the transitions, if we defend how we've been defending, then we have a chance. If we defend how we've let these last four goals in this week, well, last week, wait, we're in trouble. Gigi, when we see you in a sideman charity match, you don't need to get the subscribers up, man. I'm not definitely not on their radars, but I'd love to play in that and soccer read and whatnot. Speaking, I should make my own one, man. All us low-level content creators, you should have our own one. P, appreciate you. Do you have TikTok? Yeah, I have, actually. It should be... It actually should be in the description. If it's not, then we're not doing our jobs. But, with you profile, yeah, follow that up as well, man. I've got... You lot are 
disappointing me, man. I've got many followers, like 200, 259. Big up you lot. We're trying to take over everything. So yeah, hit, hit that up. You're not going to see me doing funny dances and that, but go over there, innit? But uh, let me put the lineup back up there for you guys, folks. And then, yeah, man. First goal is crucial. First reaction to that, because if they score first and their fans make even more noise and we crumble his peak, it's going to be a nervous and intense atmosphere anyway. So if we go a goal up, it's only going to intensify. Just got to do our job. Gigi, have a feeling the benches will play a big part in this game. We shouldn't go gun ho. Can't go gun ho. Have to be street smart. Got to pick your moments wisely. It's like a chess match. It's like a boxing match between two great boxers. You can't just go out there and try and knock the other one's head off. You've got to box smart. And I hope Martinelli scores today, man, because I love the guy. But it feels like he, he feels like, personally for me anyways, it feels like he owes us one, man. He owes it to himself, but he owes us a standout performance. In fact, everybody really, because the last two games, I think they've let the captain Martin Odegaard down. Benjamin White didn't get ripped against Aston Villa. But I actually think watching the game again twice, he was he was a bit, he, he didn't have the best of games. He weren't terrible, but Zanolio gave you a tough time. Maybe Arteta didn't consider that Zanolio will be playing off the left because things could happen, but no one was good, if I'm honest. When's the DG TikTok dances dropping? Hey, when the sponsors bring the sponsors. <laughs> As a neutral, I saw on replay for Arsenal a few times. A friend had a spare ticket sometimes, so I went along to see Arsenal play under Wenger when Henri was there. Lucky lad, man. Martinelli stocks might have to get released. Can't flip that no more. DG Martinelli needs to give us a big game. He's been average for more than the last few games. He's been a bit meaty, if I'm honest. And that's where I believe we need a striker because I'm being harsh, but we are carrying... Everyone apart from Bakayo Saka is being carried. I can't... What, 30 goal contributions or whatever. We saw the stat in the champs. Saka's doing what he needs to do. Everybody else is being carried in the final third, in my opinion. Love Martin Odegaard, love what he's doing. And he's found his goal-scoring touch of recent, but you got 15 last year. I need to see you start bringing that in on a consistent basis. Martinelli, I did a, I've did. i actually done a video on, on this, really, with my extended feelings, so check that out. Um, Martinelli, not doing that again. Trossard, if we're honest, very hot and cold. Love the man, very good player. Has started some games and, and done well. Has been on the bench in games and been poor. Typically great off the bench. So, but he's been a bit inconsistent in that regards. Jesus, probably the worst performer out of the, the more regular attackers this season, if I'm honest with you, give or take. We have had injuries. And it's very rare that if we want to be a team that we can we can afford to be, we can't really keep carry. You can only really afford to carry one player. What? Hey, Jay, behave yourself. <laughs> behave yourself. Behave yourself, behave yourself. You're confident if it goes to pens. Riot dives too early on pens. I clocked. To be fair, he was a hero in the last round, so I guess so. Your TikTok isn't there. I posted it. That's jarring. It should be there. Well, let me do it off my phone and put it in the chat. See the stuff I do for you lot? Smash the like button, folks. And again, keep your predictions coming in, man. Keep your predictions coming in. What goal scorers have we got? Do you think Arsenal will keep a clean sheet? Dream chasing, isn't it, really? Dream, absolute dream chasing with that one. But a man can try. Uh, see, this is how you know I don't really use TikTok. How do you share your own profile? Well, mate, you're going to need to learn how to do this. It's typing to do you good, man. I'm trying. Them. How do you do it? I'm crap with technology, you know. Don't let YouTube conf confuse you. I think we've got the deadest graphics. <laughs> Should be nicer to myself. It's all into tech. Oh, I'm a donut. <laughs> Says share profile right in front of me. That's crazy. By the way, QR code. Hey, scan that, people. Scan that, scan that, scan that. Big up you lot. Big up the one person who's actually scanned that. But yeah, let me put that in the chat for you lot. And again... For me, I just want to see desire, man. I know it sounds like a hype and desire and passion and all that stuff. It sounds amazing. It does. It, it, what do you think I say? It? it absolutely sounds amazing with buzzwords. And it's of no consolation if you go out. But if Bayern Munich do a madness, you know, Sane dances past the whole team or Harry Kane does great striker stuff. Sometimes you just have to hold your hands up in life. If it's the goals we conceded um, in the last week, then I'll have a, pro a serious problem with it. Have no regrets. Didn't you study computer science? That's a mad rumor. No, I did IT in college though. DG moving like Uncle Party with technology. I've been, I'm crap with technology, man. Crap with technology. I think I speak for anyone in their 20s. Well, not everyone, but like the worst is like 
when my mom and dad and whatever or, or uncles and aunties they'll ask me to help them with certain things and it's like they i don't know like they think i'm steve jobs like i can fix anything like i'm barely learning how to work this myself jesus has been stinking it up not sure how much time he has here though not gonna lie jesus is staying man dg do you have a console yes i have a ps5 you know <laughs> You know, I got to PS5, you know, I got to PS4, got to PS5, you know. To be fair, I am trying to scheme on in the summer months, should start playing pro clubs and that with you know, Fort Song and Abri Davis and Coleman not playing. Crazy, isn't it? Like three great players that I'm happy to not see. But despite all of them being involved to some degree in the last game, they weren't the reason we didn't do what we needed to do. And I'm very, I always say I'm wary when teams are missing key players. You look at some of the results, some of the best results, whether that's been goal scored or beating City or Liverpool or whatever. Some of the best achievements we've had this season, drawing with City as well, haven't always been achieved with what on paper what our best team is. And when you look through our season vaguely, you know, we beat Luton at the Emirates, but they gave us a good a good game considering they're missing players. You know, Aston Villa didn't have Douglas Luiz. There's definitely not. Brentford had a lot of players out as well when they rocked up at the Emirates. So you can't sleep on someone. Jesus can't stay, can't stay. Zinchenko can go though. Damn. DG, if you were to be one Arsenal's friends, whose friend would you be? Arsenal player, I guess. Weird question, but um Eddie and Ketia, you know. I know Eddie, like say what you want about Eddie as a player. I think Eddie and Ketty, I know you know how to maneuver. And there's a reason you don't want to leave Arsenal. I I look at your probably. Probably Eddie and Ketty or or, or, or Reese Nelson, man. Out the geezers, Aaron Ramsdale, you know. Get on. I follow you on TikTok already. Appreciate that. I'm letting Jesus go for the right price. What's the right price, though? Because we're not getting 45. When you can't help the aunties with technology, they look at you like, what's the point of you being younger than me? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And I didn't really like IT like that. Yeah, let's not go out with a whimper. Just turn up and give them a real game. That's all I ask. Dave, there you have it. Give them a game, man. Speaking of console, I bought my P5 yesterday. Welcome, man. DG P5 name. I think it's Deludaguna04. I think that's it on everything, guys and girls. Jesus got plenty of time here as a squad player. Yeah, but Jesus is part of my plans, in my, if I'm honest. It's just I need a striker. I need a winger. You can be part of this. 15 goals in 20 appearances against Arsenal, Harry Kane. Damn. Saka, come, man. It's time to make history. It's time for you to go get a hat-trick today. You know what? If I'm speaking with my heart, 3-1 Arsenal. Martinelli, Bukayo, Saka and Gabriel Jesus off the bench. Is it a sneaky one nilla today, people? We win 1-0, Bayern Munich miss a penalty. We're under extreme bits and pieces of pressure, but we hold on and remain firm. I'm not sure, man. What's good, man? How confident are you? Blaze, what is confidence in life? What, what is confidence? You know, am I confident about beating Bayern Munich? I'm not sure how to answer that personally. Confidence can come from a variety of reasons. It could be come through discipline, sleeping right, eating right, et cetera, et cetera. Could be from training well. I think considering, you know, this week is the week that's just gone by has been a bit of a negative one for Arsenal, but generally it's been great this season and in 2024. I'm confident in our preparation. And if I'm confident in our preparation, when the game kicks off, we should put our best foot forward and have the best chance of getting a result that the travelling fans and the fans worldwide, you know, want. And confidence is everything, really. Mikel Arteta, shout me, man. You see, I could handle these press conferences. You know I'm a Venka baby. <laughs> confident... It's a weird one because I'm confident as I've ever been against a Bayern Munich side because of what Arsenal are doing and what Bayern Munich are at this present day. So I could, like, you look back at the last couple of times, they've absolutely battered us. I'm really confident. I'm confident in that, again, we were our own worst enemies at the Emirates. Like we, They scored two goals because we let them. Credit to them. That's what the best teams do. They exploit you and they take those opportunities. So I'm confident in them, them kind of things. Where I'm wary is, pardon me, their manager and the vast nucleus of their team. They've been there before. Um, you know, they've, they've been there before. Thomas Tuchel's a, a, um, a tactician just like Arteta. He does little tweaking and whatnot. The fact they've got the fans. My players haven't been here. The first, it's cliche, but the first goal is vital. You know, sometimes you scoring or conceding could be the best or worst things. Because if you score early, you think it's one. There's issues there. If you concede early and your head's drop, there's obviously issues there. So we have to see, man. I just want the boys to relish it. Just go out there and relish it, man. 
Let's be real. If away goals were still a thing, we'd be done already. It's a one-off game now. Winner takes all day, you said. And to be fair, I think I speak for all Arsenal fans where they should have eradicated that a long, t long, long time ago, to be brutally honest. If you haven't subscribed, then smash the like button. Make sure we're doing such. And I think it's for the best, man. It's for the best. Like Away goals has never made, never made sense to me. It don't make sense. It's like going to an arcade and you get double points. So if I, if Odegaard scored at the Emirates or if Odegaard scores at Bayern Munich, you know, and away goals were a thing, his one goal stands for two is silliness. I understand the premise of, in theory, before my time when it came in, why it came in to kind of, you know, promote open games. But times change, rules are there to be broken and it's an even playing field, man. And I'm being shameless, but is there a correlation between that and probably more enjoyable games in the latter stages and more goals? I don't know. And isn't this the last year of the Champions League before they start making it crazy? Saliba's aura will melt Harry Kane until he elbows someone in the face. You're crazy. Aura can't help you today, man. Aura can't help you today, man. Aura wasn't helping him against Porto or against Bayern Munich at the Emirates. Away goals was horrible. Dortmund would have sat on a 1-0 lead yesterday. So, there you have it. And big up, Sasha, for being here again. The games have been much more exciting without the away goal rules. I'm so nervous. I've got butterflies in my stomach. Nerves are meant to be there, man, in anything in life, anything that's groundbreaking, that's life defining, that will better your life, depending on if you sink or swim. It's going to give you that feeling. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be edgy. You're a human being. But channel that. You know, you think RIP Kobe Bryant, but Kobe Bryant, Thierry Henry, anyone that's accomplished anything, Mike Tyson, even though he's an animal, 50 Cent, because that was one. Of, if I wasn't trying to be Thierry Henry, I was trying to be him growing up. You think these men ain't been scared? It's how you look fear in the eyes. You know, you think the first time I went on AFTV, I weren't shook? Not shook like anything's going to happen to me, but I'm like, there's like, oh, it's the big time. Like, oh, there's lights and people go viral. This is scary. But you just got to pattern up, man. The players ain't been here before. That's a gift or a curse. You could sing as, oh, I've been here before. We need another year to get experience. Or you can say, F it, we're the new kids on the block. This is us. It's a new Arsenal. And to be fair... Obviously, I want to win titles and we'll have to have a diagnosis if we end up tri trophyless this season. But if worst comes to worst, we got to a semi-finals and we finished second in the champs. For me, you, the players, the boys could look back with some, uh, pride not the right word, optimism of building something, if that makes sense. China cope, I hear it, man. I'd love to win it this year before it turns into the Super League title. Charles, Charles, I mean, I'd love to do the double. Not that we're in a position to talk with chess, but if you offered me the Prem or the Champs, I'm not going to lie to you lot. 11 minutes until kickoff, by the way, folks. I'm picking the Champions League, man. Uh, our European pedigree should be much better as a football club. Let's be brutally honest. Arsenal fans, young and old, older than me at 29. Doesn't matter what competition in Europe we've played in, there's bare heartaches, hella heartaches. You know, and as an Arsenal fan, that's 29, boy. Like, the only L I'm kind of not happy with, but was 2006 because it was just such a good run and it is what it is. But we've been battered in latter stages numerous times. We, you saw what happened to us in the Europa League. You've seen what's happened to us a lot of the times when we've got to latter stages of competitions. Olympiacos one was banter. And also for Mikel Arteta, man, like, I'm not going to lie, in the Europa League, when we've got to the latter stages, I think Arteta's done crazy things. You remember against Villarreal when he played uh, Smith Rowe as a false nine. I've, I, if, I said it in August, if there was one thing beyond the obvious that I'm kind of wanting to see from Arteta is how he navigates being at this stage. Now, I'm a hypocrite because my expectations were so low of wanting to get back in his competition that I said, not that we couldn't do better or we should set ourselves that, but I was just screaming last 16. You get out of the last 16, cool, in it? We've got to we've got, we've got get to the last 16, sorry. We've got out the last 16 now in the quarterfinals. Giving a semi decent account of ourselves when it's all said and done. Let's go and do a thing. We've got 200 likes before kickoff, people. That's crazy. Appreciate you lot. Keep doing such. Game at, game at home had me sweating crazy. Can't imagine what's going to happen tonight. And we do need to worry about Goretzka's third man runs. Well, Allah, if we get rubbed out, I'm not going to work. You're crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. And it seems like a lot of people are quite happy with the lineup. This team, well, just as I said, that Dills said, this team is weaker. Then last week, that's an advantage. Who knows, man? I am wary to see what Bayern are doing on the left, and I want to see all right. Bellingham playing as a striker for Madrid right now. If you're talking about them at the moment, I'm not watching them play today, so I, I don't know. But it does seem like he can play in a number of roles at Real Madrid. See, Dave, I'm happy I can't remember that. That's crazy. But then again, 29, I saw Ramsdale get dumped from the halfway line. So, like, it's been bare, bare L's, man. Like... 
We need to get back to winning Premier League titles and just anything we can get our hands on. But come on, man. Like, big up Man City and whatnot. But come on, man. Like, they ain't been 30 for yet. They have, but we, we're foundation in this hallmark of football, these heritage things. We ain't got... They won the champs. Chelsea have done it twice. We ain't got that. And we're finally looking like the team for when Ivan Glazida said we moved to the Emirates to be on Bayern Munich level. So let's start doing that. Off topic, we absolutely wasted 35 million on Fabio Vieira. Only 45 minutes fully since fully fit in Feb. Another one to get rid. I wouldn't get rid of him yet, but I do think all options have to be on the table. You're not going to make your money back. I get. I wouldn't loan him out because I would keep him for next season, regardless of what I've said I want us to do in the summer. But there's there, there's that option. It's one of them where you want to be a fly on the wall with Fabio Vieira's fitness, like with Tommy Asus and Partey's, and and see what why Arteta is making the decisions he's, he is, because we would have thought, not that we've always needed them, but they would have played a lot more since coming back from injury. But it does look like a, a bit of a, a waste of money. Another player I've done a video on, man, we'll be here all day for me anyways, talking about Fabio Vieira, I think. Um, he joined, I've said it before, I think he joined Arsenal at the best and worst time. Best time because we're actually better, worse than that. Granite Jack is playing in the eight. Odegaard's playing in the ten. The two roles he said he wanted. Um, his his career here has been quite stop start because he's been playing like a centre. Like he, he he plays well off the bench, gets fit, gets a start, gets injured again, and it continues like that. Obviously, he's played off the right hand side um, in in times ahead of Saka or in place of Saka, and he's not really that. He's not like a Cole Palmer, Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva kind of winger in that. So yeah, we miss Saka. And we obviously were part of capitulations with Granite Xhaka, but especially in this little running, I think Xhaka has missed. I trust, I'd much trust Vieira over Smithro. Same for me. They're both in the same kind of realm, man. I'll, I'll be biased towards Smithro, but same kind of realm, man. Would love Bellingham can play anywhere. Midfield striker. If correct, Arsenal have only won one away game in the Champions League, and that was a group stage in Spain. Well, we didn't win at Porto. Hopefully we win tonight, but we didn't win up this evening. We didn't win at Porto. We won at we won in Sevilla. We didn't win in in Holland. Who else was in our group? We did. We did. Yeah, we didn't win in France. Wait, wrong. Well, Wait, you're right. Damn. You're actually right. Hopefully you're not right. Well, hopefully you're not right. Okay, that's made me a bit tiny bit nervous. I don't really get nervous, you know what I mean? But again, what I would say to that is what Arteta should have done is put, if you know who the rapper is, Snap Capone on all day. And what he should do is show us when we went to Inter Milan, show us when we went to AC Milan, show, you know, the great nights of when we beat Barcelona at the Emirates and buying the great nights that this club's been part of. And it can be done. I've been surprised that we've seen Zini. I've been surprised that we've seen Zini try the midfield this season. Do you mean? Haven't? I'm not sure what you mean there, my bad. We're hungry for a trophy. I think the FA Cup was a big, big missed opportunity this season. They're gonna have to they're gonna have pressure to bring something after their disaster domestic season. They probably are. Fury versus you sick, your thoughts. Money. Fury, my <laughs> money is all I've got to say about that. But yeah, Fabio Vieira does look like a waste and don't really look like I'd at least want him to be kind of at worst, like mentioned how we mentioned Trossard respectfully to Trossard. But whether Trossard starts or when you think of the bench, it's it's like, yeah, you've got something apart from Trossard. And I'll be kind and say Gabriel Jesus, but I'm sure some of you won't. Apart from Trossard, it is a bit lucky dip with our bench, really. On babe, on paper, some good names there, but part is form, you know. Sometimes he looked really sharp off that bench. Sometimes he hasn't. There's been games historically with Eddie and Ketia. Sometimes he looked really sharp off the bench, like Fulham earlier in the season. Others, he's looked like he's played a game before he's come off the bench. Jesus, based on his form, don't know what again there. Reese Nelson, to be fair, out of anyone excluding Trossard of the name said, he's probably had the best impact off the bench. But uh, Fabio Vieira, he has what he grabbed. Did he not grab an assist against Aston Villa off the bench? But yeah, don't. And he did well against Fulham, but. Mm, Smith Rowe ain't really had an opportunity this year. And big up El Nene. We need to be more arrogant. One thing you should bring is brashness and audacity in our play. I hear that. Good to see Tommy Asu starting, but would have liked to see Kirio start. He's been solid at left back. I mean, Ricky, I don't think you're wrong, man. Tom, Tommy Asu could have been on the bench instead in, in, in place of Kirio, but 
gun to my head, I'm going with Tommy. The only issue with, with Tommy is probably ain't got 90 minutes. Got DG on the laptop for this game and got Rance on the phone for Man City Real, Real for Man City Real Madrid. Big up Rance, man. Big up yourself, Marcel. Great combo. Pause. Definitely need to up that bench though. We need so much, man. And I think I do think we could target. I don't know players for names, but if we, we could target some cute and clever squad additions, which Trossard kind of is to a degree that can push and start games. But to a degree, if we just sign a centre middle to you that brings something to the table, a winger that's levels with Saka and Martinelli or can give them trouble or can compete for their spot. If we could sign a striker, then everyone who's started now or who might start tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, but tomorrow, for example, we've got a stronger bench. You go back a few months ago, I keep saying it. Mikel Arteta said we've got one of the finished squads in the league. I'm sorry and and whatnot. But Arteta and Ed, you have to hold that and address that in the summer because this is now your squad. And if I praise you for all the good things I believe you're doing, done, and currently trying to do to another extent, it's not like, you know, we're going against the regime when Emre and Sanye were here or, you know, we're still in that transitional period where everyone is in the Mikel Arteta player. Everyone in that squad is a Mikel Arteta player, whether you are Smith Rowe, Martinelli, Saka, you know, players that were here already, it's technically Saliba. You're here because he wants you, Nelson, and you get the point. I love Nelly, but I want someone who can be more creative from his position. I was wondering this, yeah, and two minutes until kickoff, folks, I was wondering this, and I kind of don't believe this to a slight degree, people, because Saka keeps getting better. Attackers keep getting better, better yet under Arteta. Martinelli did score a lot of goals last year. And I think you do need to, in the modern game, be quite switched on defensively. But could you argue our, our wingers are, are overly coached? Now, I do think there's greater dynamics at play for why, you know, Saka doesn't have all the space he does. And we've been over the left-hand side of our football pitch. But could you argue there's too much instructions? How far that goes, I don't know. Because you could say Odegaard has too much instructions, but he makes it look wavy. Benjamin White the same. Hope everyone is trapped in, getting nervous. The ride's about to start. Philip, appreciate you. Keep your thoughts on what not coming, people. Need to get after Dyer and Delit. They are laggy. Anything behind them, they're in trouble. Our day's going good, man, but Arsenal about to decide that now at this point. The atmosphere at the Allianz looks insane. Best way to silence them is a quick goal or two. Amen. It's going to be a difficult game, man. Few wins away from the final. The dream is free. The hustle is sold separately and... We're flirting with it, man. We're flirting with it. You know, it's a big, big if. But if you do what needs to be done today, you're in the next round. Big, big if. But if you do what needs to be done against City and Real Madrid, assuming we get there, you're in a final. Big, big if. But if you do what needs to be done in the in the Champions League final, the sins or the sorrow of 2006 are addressed. And I won't lie, a lot of you say I'm very humble and all these things. Make Arsenal win a Champions League title. I'm sorry I'll be so shameless. No one could... Saka debates are done. No one can say he's not star boy, especially if he's good. Need that stress to perform well. That's the difference between he's just and these just channel it as DG said. Poetic Fort C, man. I hear that. Good evening, right back at you. And I hope we do this, man. Here's where it is now. I'm getting nervous now, folks. Come on, lad. All right, man. Let's get my water. No alcohol today. Ah. Did I give my prediction? I changed 3-1 to 2-1 Arsenal. Bayern to score first. Dodgy penalty. DG Stream's going to get locked off quick time if, if he streams the game. Amen. Now, nah, vodka. Ugh. It's a bit. It's not really me. It's not really me. It's not really me. Think our wingers miss out with the inverted tactics. I hear that. But then, I guess for Arteta, but I don't know it's different, but City managed to make it work. For the large part of it, Salah, Salah and Mane, they got into wide positions in behind, but they weren't true winger wingers like that. They managed to make it work. So I guess it, they probably do. Football's all about systems and we've got a system. Like you could argue, you know, well, every player has to fit any system, but we don't really have originality like that. Of course, Saka's got the stardust. Martinelli's got the instinct. You know, Odic for me, probably at the start in 11, like, the most enjoyable footballer to watch it out of our starting eleven is for me probably Martin Odegaard. On his day, it's just poetry in motion. But I don't think we've really got individuals like that. I know it's a team game, but yeah, you get the point. We have to do this. I don't blame you for red wine. Ray and F would be good. 
Rain F would be good. I mean, everyone's drinking something. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Whatever you've got to do, folks, to channel your nerves. Do what needs to be done. Kickoff is imminent, folks. Bayern Munich will kick off. The atmosphere looks amazing. It looks amazing. You've got the flares and the packed out stadium and the pitch looks well cut. What shall be, shall be, man. The past brings regrets. The future brings uncertainty. It's no time like the present, man. Let's go. Come on, boys. God, please, man, please. And we're off. We're off, folks. The time for talking is still here. Comment, like, subscribe. But it's time for the players to put up and shout. Oh, ref. That's an early foul from Harry Kane on, on Jorginho. Ref, come on, man. Fact was Declan Rice. Declan Rice is not your friend. Don't get gassed with the England team stuff. You see what he did? Next 50-50, let him know you're there, man. And I, I saw on social media, I don't know if it's true, but if Declan Rice gets a yellow, we hope that's not the case. He can't play in the first leg of the semis, assuming we get there. Hope the gods are smiling down on the Gunners tonight. Hopefully, man. Gunners, let's create history and win it for the first time. Clifton, that would be amazing. But we need to go out there and do it. David Raya has found William Saliba. Saliba, I think you're a great player with a great future. But you in particular, you're one of the players I'm looking at closely today. Because I think in the last two Champions League times we've played, you've looked nervous for as good as you are. William Saliba. Gabriel. Come on, Tommy Asu, man. And subs, don't think it's not your time as well. Subs, stay warm. It's going to be a big day for subs. And even for Mikel Arteta, I think the subs worked against Bayern, but against Aston Villa, it happened too late. So he's going to have to be spot on. Good passage of play here. Tommy Asu's found Declan Rice. Even Tommy, Declan and Martinelli down the left. I ain't really seen that this season. It's very tight and compact early doors from Bayern Munich, as you'd expect. We need to be brave. Getting a couple touches in the opening 90 seconds of this game. Come on, Jorginho, ask for that. Benjamin White, Gabriel. Come, man, don't force the pass. I can see you, Gabriel. You want to find Kai Havertz, don't force it. See, this is Declan Rice, Jorginho. I can see Jorginho conducting, but this is where I need to see my centre midfielders. Oh, the God, I can't see you, but I know you're somewhere. Martinelli, with his first chance to get at Kimmich, runs away from Kimmich, but retains possession. Benjamin White. I mean, it's not the best viewing, isn't it, really? Like, hella missed on the football pitch right now. Gabriel. Trust him, man. Trust each other. Tommy Asu. Gabriel. Good passes of play, this. But, as we'd expect from Bayern Munich and the Thomas Tuchel side, it's very well structured and... It's only two minutes into the game, but they're forcing us backwards. Now Bayern Munich have the ball. Boy, thanks to everyone in the chat. You could be watching anything else right now, but we're here with DJ. I appreciate that. Come on, P, and everyone else across Twitch and YouTube. Hopefully the boys put in a performance to match you lot's commitment levels. Dilit, who has been linked with Arsenal, we all probably know it's nonsense, but nonetheless, he was Eric Dyer. Ooh, cute little turn. Saka tried to go tight and Bayern Munich have evaded that press from Arsenal. And here they are. I, can't, I think that's Musiala. I can't lie that the smoke is doing too much. Musiala's evaded a couple of tackles and found Goretzka. And that's how quickly Bayern Munich can go from front to back. They're a team that possess a lot of speed. Sane gets past Martinelli, gets past Gabriel. Can he go for the shot? I'm getting nervous, boys. He's dropping his shoulders. He's found Kimmich. Kimmich delivers. All right, all right boys, please. The effort's gone wide. Did the offside flag go up? No, it's a goal kick. It's going to happen. Boys, wake up, please. That's all come from the right-hand side. And to be fair to, to Harry Kane, he's got, an, he's got a touch on that and it's gone wide, but technically did get there before Saliba and Benjamin White. Stay calm, boys. This is going to happen. There's going to be moments. 3-1 Arsenal set with chess, DG. It's easy for you to say. You're not getting clipped up. Smoke or raining. Flares and that, isn't it? It looks like it's, it's just about clearing up now. William Saliba. Had a lot of the ball in the opening four minutes, but it's all in our half. It's part of me, essentially. I don't want to sound reactionary, but it's another chance to push the agenda that we need a press-resistant number eight. Gabriel, centre-back, seen plenty of it. Not really seen Odegaard, Saka, Kai Havertz at this moment in time. Saliba to Gabriel. No one gets shook. No one make mistakes today. Missed. 
It could be. Why is Partey not starting? Probably tactically not the best fit or not fit. And I think Arteta, it don't really make sense, but I think Arteta, if he starts Partey, he starts Kirill or Zinchenko at left back. I don't think we would have seen both of them play. Jorginho has unfortunately lost the ball, then temporarily won it back. And now it's here by Bayern. Come on, come on, boys. Together, together. No is going to go long. See, boys, this is where we've got to win it. Be strong, Tommy. Lovely. It's back here with Joshua Kimmich. No foul, Martinelli. There's no need to foul. Ref, it's our throw, though. It's our throw. No need to do that, Martinelli, but it's calm. Gabby does switch off from Sane. They can't afford to do that. They should delay it to let the smoke clear. <laughs> That's a bad thing. Smash the likes if you haven't already, folks. And appreciative to those of you who have. Manuel Neuer to Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer, oh, Musial is such a player. He was always going to turn Jorginho. He skinned granddad Jorginho. And then he's lost the ball, ref. That's never a foul. Thank you. He's lost, for, thankfully, for... Oh, that's a yellow early doors, ref. Declan Rice has been clipped by Goretzka, and Goretzka's got won the ball back here. Harry Kane goes for the shot. It's gone wide. Has that hit an Arsenal man? Boys, that's the second time Musial has just dropped a shoulder and he's been gone. There's a part of it that's inevitable. He's a great player, but warning signs. Decent five minutes. And again, it's a chess match. It's cliche, but football, well, football's probably a, a hundred minute game now, but it's a 90 minute game with nine different mini matches in 10 minute spells. So let's see what the first 10 is saying for us. There's four minutes left of that. William Saliba. Odegaard's tried to drop deep and offer an angle, but the ball ain't going to get you there, man. No one's got the passing range. You've got Tommy Asu. Our defenders have probably seen the ball the most. And that's the first time I've seen Jorginho get a bit annoyed. Tommy Asu went back home to, to Saliba and Jorginho's kind of screaming at him to pass in the ball. Benjamin White to Saka. Saka, take him on, man. Bukayo. Benjamin White. It's calm. It's calm. Six minutes, so good. It's calm. It's calm. Keep going, boys. I want to see my midfielders, though, man. I guess we've got to wait for both teams to get a bit tired. And naturally, space opens up. Martin Wondergaard, Bukayo Saka, forced to go home to Odegaard. Declan Rice and Jorginho, I, I know Arteta's told you some tactics that I can't comprehend and there's a method to the madness, but to me as an ignorant fan, you two, or even Kai Havertz dropping deep. Someone's got an offer. Martinelli, back to Gabriel. Eve Slyly, Tommy Ash, you got out to the wall, man. We're missing that link between defence and midfield at this moment in time. Tommy passed the ball, bro. Thank you. Martinelli, take him on. Take him on. Skips past Kimmich. He tries, but Sane doing his defensive shift. Martinelli does well. Ref, that's ours. Martinelli, could you have dived there? I'm not going to lie. I thought that was Bayern Munich, throw, And I think rightly so it is. Hey, right, Nelly. Unlucky. First and second balls, boys. That wasn't something we was doing well enough in the last game. Yellow cards are resetting the semi. So Declan has to be all right then. My apologies. Bayern are overloading the midfield, trying to stop us from playing. We knew what to expect. Nelly could be in. He's gone for the shot. He's wrapped it wide. Don't mind that. Keep going. Told you, look, the left hand, our left hand side. This is what's the, what's going to get us out of this. Martinelli, man. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Look at my manager, Arteta. Got the jacket. See, we belong in the big time, man. Don't let it end already. The show, the party must go on after tonight. Eric Dyer, regardless of what happens, if he has a good game, I'm going to be upset. Saka follow him, follow him. Lovely defending by Saka to deny Mazawari. William Saliba, Declan Rice on this right-hand side. Benjamin White back to Declan. Get us out of there, boys. Well in. Gabriel, big Gabriel advancing forward. Tommy wants, Tommy drive. Martinelli on your bike, on your bike. Come on, boys. I want Odegaard back in this, man. I need to get Odegaard in the game, boys. He's the one that's going to make things happen for us. Jorginho, that pass was poor, man. And Declan Rice has kind of pulled out of that one. No foul, ref. And this is the thing. Bayern Munich can transition very quickly. They're here with Lemire. Credit to Kai Havertz. He's tracking them. Bayern Munich still have it. Bayern Munich can break very quickly when we lose the ball. We need to defend a lot better than we did at their place. Feels a bit surreal that we're, we're playing in the quarterfinals at the moment. Joshua Kimmich. Sane, no foul. Kimmich. 
Get a good look at your new teammates, man. See you next summer. Marty looks locked in. He'll slap it in. I hope so. I hope so. Need Saka to have a good game today. Amen. Need a good team performance, but it'd be nice to see them do such. Sane, he's purring today, isn't it, really, in this opening nine minutes. Joshua Kimmich puts a ball over the top. I think Goretzka is onside, Mr. Captain America. I think that's a harsh call. If he is offside, credit to us. I thought that was harsh. Fair enough, I'll have it. Bayern aren't easy to take down. Of course not. Far too kind, Boyd. Ah, oh, mate. I'm not as nervous. I thought Goretzka was on side, but that's something to be wary of. Gabriel. Saliba. 10 minutes in. Apart from Martinelli's shot that's whistled wide, not really anything to scream and shout about. It is 2 2 on aggregate, as you lot know. William Saliba. I mean, Bayern are doing such a good job of, as somebody said, overloading the midfield and not allowing us to get on it. Bukayo Saka. The only. It's, it's probably too too strong to even say joy, but it's coming from wide areas. There's goals, Martin Odegaard, people. What's going on with Lemir? How many fouls there, ref? How many? Odegaard, next time he fouls you. Martinelli up against Kimmich. Big battle this on the left-hand side. Finds Declan Rice. Declan Rice drops the shoulder. Don't lose it, lad. Lovely, Declan. Lovely. Jorginho. Benjamin White. Saka, come on. Take him on, man. Take him on. Make him dance. Bakayo Saka down this right-hand side. The cross isn't the worst. So it's over, everyone. Tom, you can keep that in. You can't slightly. You can't. Unlucky. Unlucky. Bit too much power on that. Boy, switch on. Reset. Reset. Ref, the throw weren't there. Kimmich has gone forward a couple yards. What's that? He's got to take five at least. Doing well, man. Hope you're doing well as well. I like Jorginho, but this is a party game. Hopefully, second half party comes on. Partey's just rusty. They ain't got 90 minutes in him. That's ours, ref. No foul. Come on, play on. Martinelli. Odegaard. Lamir is tough in the tackle, but Odegaard's done very well. Tries to put in behind for Saka, and between Kimmich and Neuer, they deal with it. Well, it might be one of them games to feed off that. Tommy Asu beats Sane to the ball. Or his clearance goes straight back to Bayern Munich. He's here with Neuer. Neuer. Come on, boys. Together. That's the press. That's the press. Look. Look. Dyer shook. That's ours, ref. You're letting him off. Boys, every time. Dyer's scared. Look at him. Look at him. He does not look the part. Look at the haircut. That's not a Bayern Munich haircut. Can't believe he's won the lottery being at Bayern Munich. And that's why in life you should never give up, people. Whatever your dreams, hopes, ambitions, aspirations are, yeah, Eric Dyer is living, breathing proof, and he did get a touch, that there's someone less talented than you in a position you want. The only thing that's making me nervous is buying a soul quick on the transition, man. Very quick on the transition. Jorginho's found Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz to Benjamin White. Benjamin White to Wondergaard, the class region, our Capitano. But Kyle, can we move it a tiny bit quicker? So, so far, so good. And I'm going to keep saying that as long as that's the case. Big Gabby to Gabby Martinelli. Good battle over here with Kimmich. Has to go back home on this occasion. Madrid allegedly are winning a goal to nil. Toby Asu's aggression is saving us, but we need it for the 90, man. Rodrigo has scored. Real Madrid are winning a goal to nil. I'm winning 4-3 on aggregate. There's more goals in that game for sure. Hopefully there's only more games in this game for us. Saliba's pass was a bit shaky. We got a wave that, come on, lad, man. Fix up. Gabriel. Martinelli. That's ours, ref. Thank you. Musiala looks up for it, wants to have a better game than he than he had last week. Jorginho. Center mids, man. I need to see us. I need to see us in the game a bit more. Bukayo Saka, good strength. Lovely. Finds Tommy Assi. Go on, Martinelli. Take him on, man. Take him on. Gabby Martinelli. Declan Rice, no one lose it. Kai, move from him. Kai, Tommy, Asu, Rice, all next to each other. Tommy, Saka once. Oh, right. Saka's inverting all the way centrally here. Hey, my style, boy. Saliba to Jorginho. Saliba, you're looking bookie with a couple of these passes, man. Don't pass him the ball for a sec. Tommy, Asu, Rice, Gabriel. Arteta's got to find a way to even out the odds here in central midfield, man. We're not able to play through the centre zones enough. Oh, and it was the right idea from Saliba, the wrong execution. We've cheaply given possession back.
Surprised City we didn't get booked for that. What's Kirio done? Why isn't he playing? Tactical decision. That is so lucky to be there. He's just there to make Harry Kane settle for the next six months to a year. And when buying, when, when, sorry, he gets his own friends at Bayern Munich. Die is gone. Bayern Munich speaking the devil in possession. Oh, come on. Okay, let's see Real Madrid's goal since you want to show us TNT. Well, Vinicius sourcing. Oh, that's unlucky keeping, isn't it? Very unlucky keeping from the Manchester City keeper. Rodrigo probably fortunate with, with the, um, the rebound. Eric Dyer. See, he only looks half decent when he's got no pressure. When the other Bayern players are playing very calm when we're pressing them very high, he's the only one that looks uncomfortable. Dilip goes back to Eric Dyer. See, it's in his nature. He just wants to hoof it. Slightly Neuer's kicking is dodgy as well, but he can get away with it. Just as I said that, he almost killed his left back. That's too easy, boys. Mazzari and Missiala play the one-two. This is very easy for Bayern Munich and we're in trouble. Sane's got the better of Tomiyasu. This is going to be disappointing if we concede. It is a corner kick, boys. The transition is too easy once again. Too easy. Too easy. Switch, switching it from either side, far too easy. Far too easy. Saliba's acting. That likes can you, man. It comes in the territory. But he is. And I can't blame him. I didn't think he'd be this nervous, though, because, you know, he looked like someone that relishes the pressure when you see his loan spell at France and whatnot. Bayern Munich have... This has to be the first corner of the game. Joshua Kimmich delivers a good delivery. Gabriel gets his head to it, and it was an important early interception from him. The pressure isn't going anywhere anytime, so, anytime soon, though. Guerrero's trying to pull it back into a dangerous area for Bayern. Declan Rice has won, has won the header. Kai, you, come on, man. Lamir wanted that more than you could have won that. And Bayern Munich looking to keep the pressure on. Delit shows you the levels, man. We can say what they want to say about Bayern Munich in the league and whatnot. They're always going to bring their A game to the Champions League. And you wouldn't know that this is a team, a Bayern Munich team, based on the first 60 minutes. That's been completely whitewashed by Leverkusen in the title hunt. Goretzka. Our shape's good so far. I don't know what it is, but we look like we ain't ready yet. They look better all round. Yeah. There's a lot more season to it. And just collectively, they got a better team. Like, let's be real. Dilip. Kimmich goes back to Dilip. There was rumours he was unhappy at his club. Dilip's gone all the way back to Neuer. Hey, Zeus, get one. Manuel Neuer. Confident build-up play here from Bayern Munich. Haven't got out of it yet. Oh, God, you could have nicked it there. See? Boys. Arteta's oh, playing as well. He went and got the ball back for our team. Boys, come on. Hey, Zini, I don't know why you're warming up. Sit down, my friend. Sit down, cheeky. Keep going, boys. This is a massive Z. Could really care less. In a circle, come on. Bayern growing more into the game. They def a while. Tommy got drowned, man. Don't let that happen. His body positioning weren't the best. And he got done. But that's the first time he's been done. You expect that. Just win the war. You're going to lose battles against Sane. Kai Havertz and Martinelli not doing well enough there. And it looks like Bayern have got out of there. See, look, Eric, Eric Dyer just hoofed it. He didn't need to. Someone could have told Saliba he had time. Jorginho misses out on the header and it's fallen to Musiala. He has fouled the ref. That's us. That's us. Come on, Musiala. Get up, man. You're not in that much pain. And that's the only thing about Jorginho in games like this. You're nervous. On the ball, you're hella confident. Off it, oof. What a player Musiala is, man. I would love him at the carpet, man. Absolutely love him at the carpet. Fleet of foot, change of movement. Could have been playing for England. Well, had more of a chance. But Southgate saying he needs to play for the 21s. Got 249 likes, people. Can we get to 300 for the end of the stream? Boy. And we knew what to expect. There's going to be times we had to suffer. I'd say first, opening exchange. Not under sustained pressure yet, though, man. Like We've got no, beyond the obvious, we've got no reason to be nervous. They've had the majority of the ball. But it's been a low-key affair in terms of keepers being called into action so far. And hopefully I haven't jinxed us. Goretz, well, Goretzka's giving it away cheaply to Sane. These are the moments we have to exploit. Martin Odegaard. 
See, when, when we get the opportunity to break, can we break quicker than this? Declan Rice. It's an encouraging opening 19 minutes. Hopefully, in the next 19 minutes, I'm saying the same thing. William Saliba. Odegaard. That was good. That was good. Jorginho. Kai Havertz. Faster, boys. Come on. That's a good passage of play. Come on. Declan Rice. Carry it. Declan Rice trying to swap swap play. And he does. He finds Saka. Get round him, Benjamin, man. Get round him. Benjamin White. Lovely late run from Declan Rice. The application's poor. It's gone all the way to Martinelli. Come on, Martinelli. Quality now up against Kimmich. Quality. Come on, boys. Shoot. Hey, Declan, bang it. He's tried to. It's been set. It's been blocked better yet by Goretzka. Saliba gets it to his centre half colleague, Gabriel. Come on, boys, man. We're going to, regardless of how the game pans out, we're going to get opportunities. Can we take them? Declan Rice to Martinelli. Big Gabriel. Tommy's onside, definitely. Tommy, swing that in. You know, Tommy ain't really got the capabilities for that. He's tried. Bayern look to clear their lines. Saliba beats Kane in the air to that. Why? Well, does well to find Declan. Come on, boys. Sustain pressure. Let's go. Odegaard's going to get man marked. He's a known, known danger man now. Martinelli and Tommy Asi play a one, two. Martinelli, come on. Ref, ref, please. It was a bit too intricate there. I think we was all waiting for Martinelli to pull the trigger. We have to see that again. Twinkle toes from Martinelli. See, TNT Sports are haters. Because if Bayern did that, we'll see the replay. I guess we never will. But 21 minutes in, it's still nil-nil, folks. Party would play too risky. I just think it's a fitness thing with him, man. You're not fit, so it's, it's not really relevant. Did it. Recognise he can't go back home to Kimmich, to, 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 to Kimmich or to Neuer. And it's a good interception by Kai, but they have a goal kick. Odegaard locked out the game. So other players take advantage of the space. You'd expect that to be the case. It's down for him to find solutions and it's down for our players to stand up to be counted. Lemire. Oh. Delit. Goretzka. Finds Eric Dyer. See, when he's got... He looks by Munich level when he's got a million years on the board and nobody's pressing him. The minute we press, he's the only one that looks out of place. Delit can handle it. Kimmich can handle it. You know, they, they, they've got some of the most fantastic players. Money and teams can prize in this day and age. Eric Dyer, see? Shaky, man. Killing his teammates. Oh, Benjamin White got skinned there. Oh, we're in trouble. Buying a guy forward. I told man about Guerrero. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, Muzerari. It's whistled all the way through. It's getting scary. It's getting scary when buying break is scary. They got serious pace down that left hand side. Serious pace down that left hand side. Couple of times we get tight, they're skinning us. Oh. Did Rai even get a save to that? Big save if he did. Be nice if you could put Declan Rice on the right hand side and we had a natural eight. I mean, it's been okay. Bayern Munich, probably the more dominant side. I say the word dominance lightly, more likely to score. Martinelli's had a little drifting dribble and he's had an effort that's whistled wide. Other than that, nothing really to scream and shout about from an Arsenal perspective. I think Bayern looked really good with some of their attacking transitions, man. Well, you'd expect that. It's Bayern Munich. It was scary, though, man. Very scary. Neuer's found it out to Jamal Musiala here. Boy. Big up them for doing that, man. Shout out them for doing that. There are going to be moments like that. But in the last 20, could you do that? Musiala, oh, my. I, I, Raya's got to say, Musiala, if you're going to score, don't try to score well. He's against us. Kimmich floats it into the box. I, we are living very dangerously now. We're living dangerously. Come on, boys, man. I wouldn't call for it, but it's games like this. I'd love to see, in hindsight, what I've seen, like Mikel Arteta just go for it at the back or try something they're not expecting. Limit the space same way. Because our, our shape is good, but at the same time, a couple of times Bayern Munich are making it look anything but that. Eric Dyer, he's always going to look amazing when he has a million years on the ball. Look, see, he's getting mad overconfident. 
venturing forward into our half, making overlapping runs in that. Boy. Where was Tommy on the left-hand side? These guys are sleeping, man. This is old Arsenal. We are outclassed here, 3-0 Bayern. I hope not. But as I said, it'll be interesting to see how both teams react to, to conceding or scoring first. And there are going to be moments Bayern Munich obviously going to do that. I said, don't mind if you look into that coefficient in that. <laughs> I think you I think England don't even get that now. So as someone was saying on my earlier stream, they don't get it. It's a lovely passage of play again from Bayern Munich. All of their attacking players get in touches. This time it's here with Joshua Kimmich. Kimmich to Sane. Up against Tommy. Come on, come on, Tommy. Don't foul him. Oh, he's twisting and turning. Cool. He's gone back to Kimmich. Kimmich delivers. That's a fantastic ball. Saliba, that's an important header. Saka, get there. Get your body there. Get your body there. Drive for us. Drive for us. Bakayo Saka running down this right-hand side. Get us further up the pitch. That's dead, Saka, man. Come on. You're better than that, man. You gave it away far too cheaply. Moments like that, we need you to be an outlet. We can't keep... We're starting to give the ball away far too cheaply. Far too cheaply. It's not even a disrespectful way to my team. And I don't know how to make it make sense, but you do see, it feels like you can see a different, a diff, a diff, difference in class. It's like, we're not doing anything terrible, but it's like, they, they kind of belong to be here. Like, you can see we're new here. Sane. See, Tommy Asu's not a prick. You can't do all of them skills against him. It's not Zinni. Martinelli are lucky. He won us a free kick there. Hey, right, Tommy. Let him do all of that ballerina stuff. Lovely. Can't do that. Good little battle out there, man. Wouldn't want to play against Sane. It, yeah, natural experience. Natural experience better yet. Yeah, it feels a bit like that. Like Bayern, not that we look nervous, but Bayern's players look like they've played 100 times in this sort of scenario. Declan Rice to Jorginho. He finds Kai Havertz. Martin Wondergaard. Bang it. Too much. This is champs. We're doing too much. We're trying to get the perfect opening. And it's cleared by Bayern Munich. But here's here it is with Gabriel. Come on, boys. Believe. Declan Rice. Martinelli looks to be one of our more positive players, if I'm honest. Wait. I wonder how much the fans play a part. Because I was a lot more calm in the first 27 minutes at the Emirates. This game is on knife edge. This game will change in a split second. It does feel like that big blue. was. It does feel like one of those. That's why I keep saying it'd be interesting to see the reaction from both teams, depending on when who scores first. And we've got to remember on paper, I hope it only gets better for Arsenal, but on paper, we've got extra time and pennies. Jorginho, that's a decent one to Benjamin White. Come on, find someone, Benny. Oh, it's a decent... It's one of them. It's a decent ball, but you just pull it in the area hoping someone's there. There's not enough reinforcements. Other guys, you've got to be stronger. Lovely, Jorginho. Declan Rice. We will get opportunities. Can we take them? Rice. Havertz. Rice. Jorginho. Martin Wondergaard. To Benjamin White. Martin just loves to wait for the perfect opportunity, man. I love Martin Odegaard, but it felt like just hit it. And I'm not blaming Benjamin White, but... Do you, ever, do you ever feel what the game might look like? How do you have scored in the first leg? You train to fight, but the real is so different. Bayern are playing for their lives at home. League done for them already. They should be lively tonight. Arsenal in better form overall. And that's the weirdest one about form out the window. It's a weird one. I don't think we're playing terrible. But you can, for me, you can see we're new to this. Jorginho. Saliba. White. Saliba skips out white again. He finds Saka. Saka, man, when are you just going to turn and hit it with your left foot and give us something, man? Martin Odegaard crowded out. Finds Bukayo again. Saka to Odegaard. You've got to be strong there, Odegaard. No counter, boys. Tommy nicks it back. Odegaard hits it, lengs it. Oi! Oh, he's drawn a save from, from Neuer. Ref, it's a corner. I promise you the whole ball's gone out. I'm lying. Boys, believe. Believe. Believe, man. I'm bleeding. I'm asking for anything. Noya's probably made it look a bit crazier than it actually was. Probably didn't expect it, but that's all it could be about. Big save from Raya to deny Musiala as well. 
Aye, aye, we're in. Kai, dive, man. Oh, ref. Oi, no, you spilled it. Someone hit it, man. What are we doing? Oh, we look at... Come on, boys. That was another promising move. The offside flags eventually come up. Why did the ball go to the man offside? Take your chances, boys. Come on. Come on. He was offside, to be fair. So far, so good. Come on, boys. Be strong. Be strong. Musiala and Goretzka running the show at the moment. Important header to win by Benjamin White there. Saka, come on. Get us out of that. Brilliant, Saka. Finds Declan Rice. Declan Rice, come on. Who wants it? Move from him, boys. Tommy Asu on your bike, man. We need some whip, lad. Declan Rice slows it all down. It's probably for the greater good, but sometimes that's helping them, man. It's better, it's better, it's better. Neuer's a bit shaky, man. Martinelli needs to be aggressive and attack. To be fair, I think he's being relatively aggressive. I want more aggression from Bukayo. Wonder God. Oi, Martinelli. Ah! Oh! Straight into Manuel Neuer. Good passage of play from us. I hope that doesn't come back to bite us, man. We've seen that against Benjamin White. against Well, Benjamin White against Bayern. Trossard did that against Villa. Oh, big chance. Big chance for Nelly. It's happening. But oh, ref. Fuck off, man, how's that a free kick? Seriously, ref. Seriously, ref. Need some whip, lad. Like, need some whip. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. <laughs> but we do. Tommy looking shaky now. Tommy's looking all right. He had a little shaky moment where Sane done him, but it's expected. It's going to happen. Like You're going to get done by Sane once or twice. Win the battle. Win the war, sorry, not the battle. Well, hopefully I haven't jinxed us because Sane's here in possession. Cutting in on that left hand, on that left foot. Apologies, but he's lost it. Ooh, lovely quote turn by Jorginho. Boys, this, this is how I know. It's, a lot of it is psychological because there's little moments in this game. It's like we're believing that we're meant to be here. Then others, it's like we, we don't know whether it's a stick or a twist. On one hand, I like the way that it's a bit of a mixed bag and it don't really look like we've gone like gladiator. We're going to just try and move to them. And it doesn't look like we're scared. It's a bit in between. It's like we're cautious. Oh, 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 I'll take that all back. Big Gabriel, don't know what he's doing there, you know. Take that back. That's a madness. Doing too much on the ball. Doing too much. We ain't got time for that today. Off topic question, but if on the final day we needed a last minute Aguero moment versus Everton, which player would you want to score that goal? Smith Rowe. Nelly's cooking, but he needs to score, man. The whole team needs to score. I want to see Saka involved a bit more. I think it's always expected to move a bit mad when you go to a big European side ground like Bayern. True. We don't look scared. But we look like fine margins might go against us. That's a ball from Kimmich. He's found Musiala. Don't foul him, Gabriel. Gives it back to Joshua Kimmich. Where's Kane? He's in the middle of Jorginho and Saliba. Gabriel, you need to get back there. You know, we're in trouble. Shot's been blocked. Why are we stopping? Shut up, Musiala. Ref says, get up, man. You see what I mean about these Love Island guys? Get off the floor. Look at me. I'm Musiala. I'm a good footballer. He ain't been fouled, man. The atmosphere is helping them, but we just got to hold on and exploit. Be lovely, man. Got draw written all over it. Neither team want to lose. Don't know whether it's a stick or twist, but it'll be interesting because as the game goes on, people are going to have to start gambling. Bayern Munich down this left-hand side, all right. Still have it. Come on, boys. Kai, you should be over there. Got 15 minutes until the end of the first half. Just stay switched on, man. Kimmich, Sane. And the sad thing is Kiri will get warmed up. I don't want to see Zinni unless we're chasing the game. Tommy ain't got 90 minutes. Lovely tackle by Jorginho. On Musiala, Musiala trying to g up the fans. He didn't even do it. On, he did it on a half-hearted thing. Good sliding tackle from from Jorginho there. No margin for error. Good tackle. Eyes on the ball and everything. Another by Munich corner. Come on, boys. 
Of course, it was a great decision, Max, to remove the away goals rule, man. Nonsense. Bayern have taken it short. Guerrero delivers into the face of Saka. Ref, he's down. Ref, all right, boys. So I hope Saka's all right, boys. Relax, Arteta. Instructions. Weren't intentional. Saka took a ball to the face. Not even half-hearted, quarter-hearted. Hearted. <laughs> Jesus is needed. I feel like one man needs to beat a defender or two to score. Individual brilliance. Come on, Saka. You're tougher than that, man. Come on. I told you a lot. Now, look. Arteta giving tactics out. Wait, what's happened there? Odegaard switched on. Again, Bayern Munich. Are, hey, these men are shameless. While all our players were receiving tactics from Arteta, Odegaard was the only player switched on. They tried to carry on. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. You man are shameless. Shameless, brother. Shut up, Musiala, man. Someone clamp him, man. Someone clamp him. You know what you did. Have some effing sportsmanship. Not gonna lie, I respect it. I wish Arsenal tried that to be honest with you. And if we get the opportunity, we'd love to see it happen. Players eventually restarted. 10 minutes to go until the end of the first half. See, look how good once again. Dyer looks amazing with all the years on the ball. That was a poor pass from Delit for, for Kimmich. Boys. Declan Rice. Kai Havertz. That's ours again. Boys, relax. I respect buying for it. Musiala didn't believe that hype. He didn't, man. Come on, Tommy. Gotta have love for Tommy, man. Look, he just does what he says on the on the can, man. Basic boots. Cool guy, man. Who wants the ball off Tommy, though? Martinelli. Touch was dead. Can't be doing that, man. Come on. Big, big Bayern Munich. Bayern attempting to clear their lines. Kane is deaf off out there. Refer said play on. Jorginho with another important tackle. Gabriel needs to be careful. Wait, you played the advantage, Ref. Ref, you played the advantage. Like, they played it. Free kick for Bayern Munich. Man said Musiala when you order Rodrigo from Wish. That's harsh. Musiala's a bad boy footballer. Bayern Munich have had four attempts, one on target. Arsenal have had four attempts, two on target. I would say... Bayern are slightly ahead for me. But it's interesting that there's nothing really in it. Statistics-wise, Manuel Neuer, Odegaard will lead the press. He finds Eric Dyer. This is why I wish we had some faster players, man, and some stronger midfielders because we could gamble pressing high, even higher up the field. Speaking of pressing, Lemire's lost it. O Odegaard hit it. O Kai, please, man. There's too many half chances that we're not taking. Ref! Surely Martinelli's been fouled. Boys, take these half chances. Come on. Bro, that has to be a free kick. Haven't seen Lemire give the ball away too many times. But as I was speaking of the devil, as I was saying, press a bit higher. Declan Rash has done such and got something out of that. An Arsenal man's down. I'm shameless ref. I don't know where it was, but VAR, look. Someone got hit. It's Captain Martin Odegaard. Need long shot goals to win this game as soon as possible. I'm not going to lie. Neuer looks like he's he could be got out from that. Need an LNA banger, to be fair. He did it at the Noor camp. It's one of the best goals I've seen of, the, of recent years. That was a serious goal from him. Ref, come on. Odegaard limping now. Odegaard, soldier that, man. We ain't got time for this. Come on, soldier that. There's no pain. Pain's an illusion. We saw it in the first leg. Not taking opportunity is going to come back to bite us. We definitely need to do that. We haven't really had a clear-cut opportunity apart from Martinelli's one straight at Neuer, but we've had some that we think, oh, could we have done something? Manuel Neuer, best keeper of all time for me. He's definitely up there. Declan Rice delivers. Come on. Yeah. Oh, the camera angle is so cruel. It's a decent delivery. Obviously, unfortunately, it's in the hands of Manuel Neuer. Boys, this is where Bayern have excelled so far. Progressing from back to front very quickly and at speed. Joshua Kimmich. Have they changed the camera angle? What's this? Kimmich. 
does well, really, to find Goretzka. Goretzka gives it back to his club and country teammate. Manuel Neuer doesn't get the ball on this occasion. Eric Dyer, aye, aye, he give it away. He give it away. So you've won it back. Anything Dyer is involved in, even though it weren't just him, win it back. We spoke before, we might just need some individual brilliance and it might need to be that. Declan Rice and Saka, Martin Odegaard, oh, trying to be too cute and clever, boys. Neuer clears his lines. Gabriel hands all over. Kane again. Hey, yo, yo, Saliba, lovely confidence, lovely. But my heart can't take them things. Odegaard, Rice. Rice attempts to switch play. Was that the best option? No, it weren't because Kimmich has won the head or make the foul, Tommy. You might have to foul him, you know. Stick, bro, I love Tommy Ass, who somehow managed to just nick the ball of Sane. Kai Havertz, me, respectfully to Kai, don't want the media duns on the ball there. You just want to see Odegaard and these kind of guys. Benjamin White, trying to be a bit too cute, clever and intricate. I mean, we don't really have, well, sounds mad because Kai's six foot odd. But we don't really have an aerial threat. Should just be delivered into the box. Apologies for yawning. Declan Rice, Tommy, bang it, believe in yourself. The options are limited. It's here with Martinelli. Martinelli back to Tommy. Tommy swings it in first time. It's headed out by Bayern. It's falling to Benjamin White. Movie settings. I don't mind that. It was dead. It was so dead. But you tried to, you saw your name in lights and you went for it. You went for it, Benjamin. Oh, the God, you could have done that on occasion. Boys, keep going, man. Let me know your thoughts at half time, people, as we get there. Rice tried, man. People are trying. Whoever said that Musiala being Rodrigo from, from which needs to watch him. That's harsh, man. I like it from White. Parties go versus Spurs. There's been some bangers. Parties go versus Spurs. Parties done the screaming thing on occasion. Rice against West Ham. Oh, Saka doing some defending, finds himself at right back. Lovely. Go on, Raya. Finds Benjamin. No, he doesn't. I thought he was going to pass to Benjamin White. He found Declan Rice, actually. Declan Rice. Saliba. It's a weird game, man. It's a weird one. Yeah, Neuer had that crazy injury. Didn't he have a... Um... Like an accident at skiing or something. It's a blessing that he's playing football again. What is good? Ref! Come on, that's a yellow. That's the baitish yellow. Got no, none of the ball off the guard there, let me. How many? Come on, he's a good player. Was that for Arsenal next year? Martin holding his knee, please, man. We ain't got time for that. I just realised this is the last normal Champions League season. Got to win it this year, lads. Probably not. But we can try. Declan not worried about the yellow card today. Can't afford to be, man. Tommy Asu is about 60 minutes in him today. Kirill definitely needs to be ready. And that's the weird one. Do you take Tommy Asu off when you can physically see he can't play anymore? Because you could go with Kirill who's a lot more solid defensively, but has his own question marks. And if we're, if if you take off Tommy Asu and we're leading and you bring on Kirill, you might look to want to think about Zinchenko because of what he can give us in the final third. Arteta's got a difficult day where subs are concerned. Saliba. Jorginho, William Saliba, Tommy wants, bring him, man. Saka started to invert a lot more. Looks like it's not a game for Havertz, maybe Jesus at half time. I wouldn't take him off yet. Havertz is one of them, it's mad, but you want to keep him on. Saliba, have you got that pass to Martinelli in your locker? William Saliba galloping forward, checks back inside and finds Benjamin White. White. Odegaard drops a shoulder. Come on, source, Odegaard. Source, ref. We'll see Arlo and Mazuari doing their defensive duties and it's here with Lamir. Go on, Kai. Go on, Kai. Get him. He's done well to find Sane, to be fair. Sane willing Martinelli for tracking back. Martinelli does well. Sane will just hold the ball up and wait for reinforcements. And he finds Kimmich. Kimmich. Delete. Come on, boys. So close. So close. So close to half time. Switch on. Just stay switch on. Lamir was an early target last summer. Must come by him, man. Come, man. You can be a semi main guy at Arsenal. That would have been a stunner. My prediction was 3 1. Can I really see four goals? I don't know. Come on, boys, man. Going to half time at 0 0. Three switched on. I'm not going to lie, DJ. I'm feeling better than I was at some point of the home game. We've played a lot better. I hear that. We ain't done any... Well, this time at home, we've done a stupid defensive mistake, didn't we? A bit more resolute and professional at times. 
Delete, that's a ball if it gets there. Benjamin White's done well. I thought he was elbowed in the face there. Bakayo Saka brings the ball down. Run, man. We ain't seen you run. It's good recovery defending. Saka, stop looking at the ref. You were fouled. The ref ain't here to save us. Play to the whistle. And if you're angry, make a foul. Never hit a hand. Never. Play to the whistle by Munich. Consistent. Martin Odegaard. These are the chances we've or, or opportunities we've got to make something happen. That was Buki from Declan Rice. And it's gone out of play. Boys. Just bet draw slash draw and gunners on pens or extra time. Fair enough. A Spurs fan doing that and getting confidence. Martinelli doesn't link well with Tommy. Feels like a scrappy 1-0 20 team. I feel more confident about the game. Try to be if you make it to half time. But hey, got a minute or a couple of seconds. Feeling 2-1 either way. Don't want to jinx it, but I've noticed the past year and a half we've been much better away from home. Max, it needs to continue today, don't it? It really does. So far, so good. Nothing to really scream and well, there is nothing to really scream and shout about. You know, Musiala's forced a good save from David Raya. Odegaard's technically done that from Neuer. I think Martinelli should have bagged, if I'm honest. Would like to see us create a bit more. But so far, so good. Defended fairly well. Deluded you don't read Twitch chat. Yeah, I do. We got the Twitch chat, man. What are you talking about? I just said my prediction. Don't do that. I love Twitch. End of the first half, people. What is our thoughts at the end of the first half? What thoughts have we got in relation to the game? How do you think it's gone? Et cetera, et cetera. Again, with that being said, where's my water bottle, people? Because I am quite thirsty talking to you lot. Give me 30 seconds. Let me know your thoughts. Let me go refill my water bottle. We, it's a game of individual brilliance and moments. I know someone who does that. I know I said I was getting water, people, but I also got a biscuit. So, yeah, what's our thoughts at the end of the first half, people? Are we still optimistic? Are we nervous? What's our. I know we gave our predictions before the end of the. Before the game started. At the end of the first half, how are we feeling? One of you commented. One sec, man. I'm talking with my mouth for one sec, people. Hell did we get Yeah, one of you said. It feels like a scrappy one needle. And I believe you. But at the same time, it does feel like one of those games. When the first goal goes in, it might just explode. And ex I say explode into life, a bit of an exaggeration. But it feels like it can. And I'm getting cramped. And I want to say, big up you lot, people, because you don't want to know. Obviously, there's been a lot of fitness doubts of the players going into this game. But in terms of the content creator... Me, I was a fitness doubt. I woke up today, my shoulders killing, my head's hurting, hell of a temperature, belly's messed, vomiting up the place, moving mad, but I'm all painkilling up for you lot. And I had a nap before the game, and I realised the show must go on. So big up you lot for being here, hitting the like button and all that good stuff. 
and I still edited and still did a live stream before this morning. See that I can't lie, I'm a trench baby, man. But yeah, let me sit back down. I needed those biscuits, man. I haven't even had an appetite today, man. I've barely eaten. The gains are gonna get lost. But we go again. Nah, man. I said I'm ill, man. Maverick, who don't like? I'm gonna call them W and H because it makes no sense, and plus they don't sponsor the thing. But who wouldn't like that on the best of days? Is DJ your nickname? No, no, no. It's my real name, cuz. Real name. So yeah, people. Half time refreshments over. We're back again. See? I'm all dad for you lot. Kimmich, bring him to Arsenal. Baller, calm, cool, collected. Love. Hey, listen. Joshua Kimmich. You could go to Barcelona and the fantastic historical club that is. You could go and play under Pep Guardiola again at City. But come on, look at what Arsenal's doing. There's a road there for you. You could probably play midfield, you know. My advice, DG, eat soup and yogurt. Don't eat solids and plenty of waters. No, no, no. You're going mad. You're going mad. You're going yogurt. Oh, I don't like yogurt on the best of days. Yogurts. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I didn't tell you my belly's moving mad. That madness. No. Without making it nasty, I'll never tell you that what live stream this is, yeah, but I remember I was ill like this and I had diarrhea. Not sorry for the details. I promise you it was the quickest live stream ever because you're not asking me questions. I'm looking at the camera. All I'm thinking about is, fam, your toilet is cooling you. It could get mad for you. DJ moving like Benny Blanco playing through the pain. Fullback Union, what's your real name? I don't know. Chris comes to mind. Let's go with Chris. I'm whatever, isn't it? The man, the myth, that DJ kid, man. No, I'm joking. Uh, Corny Jamal, CJ. Type it out for you, lot. And I just want to say, pardon me, this is why I believe everything happens for a reason because... I think I typed in my first name and it stands for short nose, which they're probably buying me. But the, the name Jamal means beautiful still. So you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, man. Hello, Madrid. They're going out next round anyways. I didn't say nothing. I hope Smith Rowe has the chance if Odi has to be subbed off. Jorginho's played well. I'm not going to cap to you. Odegaard, there's no coming off. There's no coming off. Nobody's coming off. We ain't got time for that. But any pain you've got, get the painkillers. Get the painkilling injections. Do what needs to be done. My only threat, apart from the individual quality that Bayern Munich possess and can kill you at any moment, is the transitions, man. A couple of times they've switched play from left to right really quickly. They've progressed well. At times, been a bit open in the middle. For Arsenal, I think we're doing all right. Considering we're playing away from home, we ain't been here before, etc. The half chances, we need to create more of those. And I do, I do wish we took the one with Martinelli. I do wish sometimes our players would shoot a bit quicker. But so far, so good. Obviously, big up Raya for the big save. There has been a couple of heart-in-mouth moments, but generally, we've, we've done okay, man. Couple buying scares, but so far, it's all right. I would say there's, like there were periods in the game where, as I said earlier, it's not like we're lacking in confidence. And it's not, it's not like we're scared. We're kind of in between. There was a, there's been a couple periods in the game where I guess we've gambled a bit. We've looked a bit more comfortable to attempt that and be a bit higher up the field. I think Bayern are doing a great job or was at a point really just stopping us play through central areas. All the things are coming from wide areas. Martinelli has to score that chance, fam. Kai Havertz is doing this, fam. From Kai Havertz, can't believe you scored. You ain't scored. You know you need to back. You're better than that, Martin. And I'm never going to get a single player. Same way I did it with Benjamin against Bayern or Trossard. But it's moments like that where you think, well, oh, if you had a striker and they were there, what could have happened? Now, you know, half of the great strikers we like, they're all up there for big chance and missed. But, you know, if that's Oli Watkins, Ivan Tony, Harry Kane off the top of my head, Goya Kerez, Osimhen, they're probably more likely to get the goal. And as we know, goals change games. Statistically, there ain't too much in it, really. We've had no corners, so set-piece FC ain't really had no joy. Bayern have had three. Possessions, 50, 51% to 49 of Bayern's. Well, so we've got more. 
We've had six shots, three on target. They've had four shots, one on target. So there's only been four shots on target throughout the game mm, between the two sides. So there's not really nothing to scream and shout about. It definitely is a less exciting game than the one at the Emirates. Maybe three different reasons, but who knows? 306 likes. You lot are far too kind. Can we get as close to 400 as possible? Let me scroll the way up because a lot of you have said certain things. What DG injury scare you? Hello, hello. I woke up today. I was like, no, I can't do this, you know. And then I thought, no, man, it's Bayern Munich. We've got to be here. After this, shower and bed. Good half. We have more possession, but I want to see some goals. Really proud of Nelly so far, but these chances need to be put to bed. I think this game could be ours. Tommy Asu, where is that? Tommy Asu, so solid. He's doing his thing, man. So it's one to build upon. DG, not going to lie, I got worried about Odegaard there. Real Madrid are beating City one goal to nil at this moment in time. In and out game so far. Bayern has had the better chances in this game. Arsenal has a few chances, but are trying to walk the ball into the net instead of shooting. We have to move. We're trying to be a bit too cute and clever. Too precise at times, but this is the issues with us. And to get to the next level, level this is where we need to get away with that. DG eating biscuits, but doesn't like chocolate dejective, digestives. Not going to lie. That's exactly what I was eating. That's how you know I'm ill. 2-1, Saka, Odegaard, Kane. I hear that. I'm shook. I'm quietly confident. Range of emotions. Solid start. I'll say we've looked more offensive. I hear that. Second English team in the last few years to have a clean sheet at the Allianz by half-time. Shameless. <laughs> ah... Oh, Lord, that's shameless. I ain't seen or heard something that shameless in a while. Martinelli doesn't link well with Tommy. I don't think it's a game where you're going to see a madness from them in that regards, but I think Tommy's relatively done well. I think football fans can be a bit, not saying you, but be a bit dense in a sense of if a wing is having a good game, that means the full, the fullback they're playing against means they're having, a, they're having a terrible one. I think on the large part, Tommy Asu's done well considering this is his first proper start in a significant game and God knows when. I think Sane's got past him a couple of times and done him, but generally he's doing okay. I think Martinelli's looked a quote-unquote threat, but he should have scored, man. Should have scored. Should have bagged. I want to see a bit more from Odegaard because when he has grown into the game, it's been good. I want to see a bit more from Saka in that regards. Phil Kai Havertz, someone I would have started today. And I know he might not be the prettiest and kindest and nicest to look at on the ball, but I would have thought personally, pardon me, there'd be a lot more to scream and shout about there. Hasn't quite been. Who's got a stable link? Share up the links. Rice not progressive enough with the ball. It just dies in the middle on the left. He's learning them kind of bits and pieces in his game, and he's never been that by he. Tommy is okay at attack, but I'm not asking him to attack. Yeah, no. The Real Madrid Man City match is top quality. Rodrigo is different. There you have it. Pick up yourself, KG. My Trossard FIFA card needs his upgrade, bro. I will take a deflection goal right now. Please, Arsenal. I don't think any Arsenal fan cares how we do it. Just score the goal and let's advance to the next round. Okay, you're good then. Chocolate digesters are locked. Just need more belief, DG Swift recovery as well. I'll be all right, man. I don't know what's happened, but I'll be all right. I don't know what I've eaten. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to slander. I bought a takeaway yesterday, curry, goat and rice and coleslaw. And I don't like coleslaw from a shop, but I ate it. So I'm blaming that. And I'm definitely not ordering from that place again. Because one of them... Sometimes you just wake up ill. After I ate it and I brushed my teeth and went to bed, I was like, no, something don't feel right here, you know? It feels, feels like I'm about to go outside. Sane is twisting Tommy up. Thanks to Martinelli for the continued double up. I was saying sell Tommy in the summer, but you need guys like this, I try to tell you. Excellent commentary as always with excellent people like yourself. I'm pretty sad that Man City are winning the Premier League again, but after the Aston Villa match, they're playing good. But... Please, God, don't make Arteta bring on Zinni. Might need to. We should win this. Based on what? Should have hit it with his right. Martinelli chance was similar to Trossard's goal in the first leg. Bossart would have bagged. That scored a similar goal versus Everton. I hear that. But he didn't do it against Villa, so it's not a given. Honestly, I haven't seen the Arsenal I know in the first half. 
I can see Jesus' dribbles can cause issues for these lot in the box. The funny thing, even though I never do drugs, Doc's painkillers get you on, on very high when in surgery. That's crazy. We're holding on, good sign. How long can we hold on for? Or at some point, do we need to go on the offensive and the aggressive? Shame we didn't capitalise on our chances, but overall, I'm OK with the first half performance. I'd agree with that. In my opinion, we've been the better, we've been the better half because we've had more possession and our passing has been good. I think passing has been a bit slow. I know I'm asking, I know I'm asking for a lot. But still. Let's see what happened. Well, we saw this from Real Madrid. Like that's poor marking from Kyle Walker, you know. Who's in goal? That's not that's not Edison. Oh, it is. He let his Brazil body on. Oh, there's a touch of fortune with that for Rodrigo to bag. But you make it on luck in life. Honestly, I think this game calls for his use. I think Kai is lost. We need a player to draw, to draw pressure from, to dribble. To be fair, I, I would be looking at getting Partey on at some point in this game, but I still wouldn't take off Kai Havertz. I know it's mad to say. So do you drop Kai Havertz in midfield to get on Jesus? Matthias tells woman like, what a player he is. One in my Arsenal, really. The boys from both teams are coming out for the start of the second half. Slap the likes, as my guy American Gunner has said. This tie is going to come down to a moment of magic or madness. I'm here for, I'm here with that. I heard that. I hope not, though. I hope not. I really hope not. Three things for me. One, less intricate football at times and shoot test Neuer. Two, help Martinelli out more. His only options are to pass back, get their fullbacks more with pace. But the thing is, they're... There's not too much we could do. I think a lot of it's a byproduct as to how we have to be switched on defensively and how Bayern have set up. You are right. I would like to see more support for Martinelli, but it's a double-edged sword. You know, if Declan Rice and Dom Tommy Asu gamble a bit more, then there's going to be space. We kind of have to find that balance of gambling and trying to get that goal and making sure we're switched on. Even the fact that we've been switched on defensively relatively today and Bayern have still caused us issues says a lot, in my opinion. I want to see a bit more from the right, man. Runs in behind, been lacking. What do you think, DG? Yeah, but the midfielder's got to get on the ball. I'd say the biggest thing for me is we're not really playing through central areas like that. It's a bit mad. Raya's gone long straight away. Come on, Kai. I can't see you, but I know you're going to get your head to that. Yes, you have. Declan win the second. Martinelli the third. I right, go on. Ah, Odegaard's got something on it, but it's fumbled over. To be fair, it's more difficult than it looks. How's Odegaard jogging? Are you still doing the holding the knee thing? Nah, he looks cool. He looks all right. He's tougher than he looks, man. Wonder guard. Havertz is so passive, bro. This game needs Jesus by the 60th minute. He thrives in chaos in, in this game. I hear it. Dyer, Musiala, this guy is so lit on the ball. Saka wins the ball off him, but it will be a buy and throw. Uncle Jorginho, you ain't got 90 in it because the more the game goes on, the more the spring chicken Musiala is going to be on his nonsense. Come on, Kai. Kai's looked a bit lethargic. We've got to get over to the other hand side. Kimmich down this right hand side, our left. Sane up against Tommy Asu. Come on, be strong. Sane, Kimmich delivers. Oh, Lord. Goretzka. Oh, they've hit the post. Oh, and the follow up effort from Guerrero. Is he offside? Hey, please, boys. I don't think you'll see more exciting opening minutes than a game in, in a game this season than that. It's a great ball from Kimmich to the back post or attempted for the back post. Goretzka's head has, has Raya pushed that onto the post. Let's see that again. Joshua Kimmich, you need to sign for us. What a ball. Goretzka got his head to it. Nah, it hit the crossbar. Oh my days. Should be a corner, is a corner. Big up DG. Hope we can play with more confidence. Phil, you and me both. Ref, Gabriel's got Ga Goretzka's got hands all over Gabriel. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with Captain America, man? Behave. Saliba, be aware of the back post. Thomas Tuchel's men are trying something dodgy. God, please, man. Don't let the Champions League journey end now. Kimmich delivers it's to the back post. Saliba gets his head to it. Martinelli gets his head to it. And Martinelli tries to give chase. Be stronger, Martinelli. Ref, he's never been fouled. I hope you're not appealing for foul. Ref, Ref, are we playing football or doing some pussy old thing? 
How the hell is that a free kick, ref? Apologies for the French. It's ridiculous. Free kick for what? Bro, he's tried to waste Martinelli. Did Raya really... I don't think Raya got a touch on that. I need to see that again. No, he didn't. They've hit the post twice there. Bloody hell. Martinelli doesn't even touch him. These are the times we need a striker, DG. Amen. We're not going to get to where else we need to get to without a striker. Might fluke it one or two seasons. We're not going to get there. Ball into the box. Raya, come on. Okay. Camera tricked me there. Sane up against Odegaard. No foul. Lovely Kai. Lovely Kai. Odegaard. Martinelli. Got to be better there. Jorginho wins it back. Odegaard showing strength. Jorginho, don't give it away. Come on, Kai. Ref, that's a free kick as well, then. That's a head injury as well, Ref. And look where Manuel Neuer's come out. Boys, come, man. You can do something today. Seriously. Ref, that's a late one on Kai Havertz. Where's the consistency, boys? We need to stay switched on. Because Bayern have pace in abundance, man. Tommy, what? Tommy, what? Tommy's gone down. He's doing this. I hope it's contact lenses and not an injury. No, he is a bit shaky at times for, for a good keeper, isn't it? Well, Matthias Tell doing kickoffs with. Are you a former bot? Are you a buying player or are you a fanboy? Yeah, Tommy asked you. I hope this is. He's doing this. Is it's contact lenses? I hope this ain't nothing to do with your hamstring or anything. I hope Kai for Trossard. Others remains Jesus for Martinelli Saka. Pardon me, I can't lie. Saka's a player I'm not taking on. I'll be real. Yeah, I think it's contact lenses with Tommy Asi. That looks painful, isn't it? I think Declan Rice wears contacts as well. So were they in before? Or you need to put them in now. Whatever you need to do to make sure you keep you keep seeing Sane and evading, you know. Him attacking our goal. Do what you need to do, Tommy. Go on, Tommy. Rice looks tired. Needs someone to take control. Miss Yakker in midfield. Miss Granite. One of the biggest problems this season that's affected us, regardless of what we've achieved slash tried to achieve, is the midfield. There's a big hole. Games like this as well. Now, we could very well have this press resistance number eight and they're playing today and I'm, and I'm saying nothing else is going on. But we need that conductor, man. William Saliba. Benjamin White. Don't panic, Benjamin. You panicked, man. Who's that to? Okay, a terrible pass to get into Saka. In fact, what do I know? You meant that. Saka up against Eric Dyer is just booky skills, but Saka still has it. But Kyle Saka to the edge of the area. Martin Odegaard. Tommy Asu is probably where it's going to die. Tommy, what's that? Bandulu, man. Come on. Throw into us, but come on. I think you need them on before, to be honest, but surgery better than glasses, I heard. True. But laser surgery here, that's good. But do you really want to get lasers on your eyes and that? Ain't that permanent? Once you do that, it could be better. Huh? It's a myth. Tommy Asu with the throw in. Kai can't get near it. Declan Rice, Tommy Asu. Oh, good little bit of trickery from Tommy. Oh, okay, attacking fullback. He's done very well. Martinelli. Ah, oh, he's been absolutely clamped off that it's just one of those half chances that's not a foul ref come on that one's a foul i'm not gonna lie yeah the risk with days is crazy bring up yourself oliver you ain't missed much you missed the martinelli tapping that's about it oh well you missed by munich hit the crossbar raya has been called into action minimally but he's been called into action eric dyer has gone long come on Saliba's late there. That's the one time I think Musiala's fouled. See, boy who cried wolf, we've given it away cheaply. Boys, discipline. And they've also done it. Both teams suffering a bit emotionally right now. 
Every day it's looking like we should have kept Jacker and sold party. Probably. Jacker wanted to cut though. And so far the move's been backed up. Adored by Leverkusen fans, won the league back in Germany where you're comfortable. And if I was, not that every Arsenal fan thought like that, but if I was Jacker seeing them comments, I'd be so smug. I remember when Arsenal fans used to scapegoat me. Kai Havertz wins the header. Kimmich clears. Is it the best clearance? Odegaard wins the header. Benjamin White, Saka's begging for that. Saka, take him on. Take him on. Come on. Decisive action now, Saka. Bukayo Saka. Bro, Saka, you're looking smelly in the lights. If that's not, a, is it a corner? Saka, you're looking funny under the lights right now, man. What's that? Tommy so Asu's done something more significant than Saka down, down the flanks. Just keep it simple. Do what you've been doing, Saka. Not everyone needs to do skills. Eric Dyer finds Musiala. Don't let him out. No foul ref. He's begging for that. It's their throw. Saka and Jorginho. You've got to do better there, though, man. Two of you. Great strength from Musiala. He's such a good dribbler, isn't it? We're all waiting for the throw-in to be taken. Ref, he's stealing inches. Pause. Harry Kane wins the header. It's an Arsenal throw. Boys, quickly, quickly. Saliba wants. To be fair, Kane's on the chase. It's time for Jesus and Trossard to come on. Imagine if this was 2020 when Bayern won every game in the Champs and we were in the trenches. We'd be 10-0 down by now. Crazy. That's Defo, a free kick and a, and a yellow card. Finally, how many times they kicking on the guard? Ref, he's done that all game. Shut up, Harry Kane, you muppet. Why are you there? Why are you there? What have you got to see? You're doing free like you can even count, you muppet. You're so lucky, old footballer. Like you can even spell your, your damn name. Prick. That man has been fouled. To be fair, he deserves that. Just need a bit of luck or one bite of magic. Come on, Arsenal. Will we get either? Who knows, man? Be nice to you, though. Declan Rice restarts proceeding. Saka, take him on properly, man, properly. But Kyle Saka on his right hand side, he delivers. It's not the worst of balls, but it's not the best one either. Jorginho. Martinelli. Tries, you know what? The angle was there to the back post. Noya's too experienced for that. Noya gets it back from his teammate. Noya's a quality keeper, but he's prone to some shaky moments on the ball, you know. He's actually done well to find the teammate here. Saka's done well defensively. Never a foul ref. Well in Saka. Great defending. Drive Declan Rice. Captain Fantastic stuff. Just go, man. Just go. Just go. Don't get scared. You've done brilliant there, Declan Rice, actually, to find Saliba. Saliba to Jorginho. Where's his forward options, man? Odegaard's made a lovely run. Martinelli, hold your whip. Hold your whip. That's why you hold your whip. Martinelli up against Kimmich. Decent delivery. Kai. All right, ref. Oi, Kai, you need to act like you've been fouled there, man. Good defending by Bayern. Get your leg there. That's a penalty. Gabriel, that's a very good pass to Kai. Kai Havertz to Odegaard. Odegaard couldn't get, get under control. It weren't the best of passes from Kai. Boys, defend. Oi, big up Jorginho on the recovery. I was smelling blood. Slightly. Oh, just as I said that, we've given it away. Boys, relax. Relax. Game's opening up. I think the second half has started very well. The second half is probably what the neutrals want to see. Keep going, boys, man. Keep going. Keep going. Jesus, get one, please. Yeah, Saka's not doing nothing. Nervous about the mandatory Kane penalty against us. We all know it's happening. He's got to make peace with it. Musiala, Jorginho, you've got to be careful. <laughs> Musiala skipped past both. Quality player, man. Guerrero tries to find Kane. Oi, 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 oi. Communication, Gabriel and Raya. Please focus. Because it looked like their move broke down initially. What was a promising Bayern Munich move? Gabriel's played it back to his keeper. To be fair, what's that? Boys, now it's a corner unnecessarily. Boys, you can't be... You lot, no foolishness today, please. Mistakes happen. We've seen a couple of players do that. But come on, man. Can't do foolishness like that. DG, who you got winning the Euros? It's coming up. Ask me properly a few months from now. 
Corner kick to Bayern Munich. Kimmich takes what's probably their seventh or eighth one. It's headed out by Arsenal. We live to fight another day, but the pressure is still remaining. Mazuari delivers. Surely that's overhit. Massively overhit. Goal kick Arsenal. That Saka dive really haunting us now. Boy, Benjamin White, that. Martinelli's chance in the first half. It's half an hour left, excluding any added on time, people. There's a lot of football to be played. Saliba. Benjamin White. Saliba. Benjamin White. Bakayo Saka, come on, take him on. Cuts inside, finds Jorginho. Jorginho attempts to switch play. You know he's got that. Martinelli's touch has forced him backwards. Still here with Declan Rice and Arsenal. Come on, Bakayo, man. Gives and goes first times to Havertz. I'll be brutally honest, the passing to Havertz was terrible. Getting nervous. Martin Odegaard, lovely strength and determination. Just loses out. Come on, keep them in there, boys. Saliba does well. Gabriel. Jorginho. Keep going, boys. That's a lovely one. Kai, come on. Kai, please. They say you're the next Van Persie in that. Could you have hit that with your right peg? Masking a lot. Keep going, boys, man. Kimmich. Boys, but if Odegaard's gone to press, back it. Back it. Not now. Not now. Let Dai have it. Let Dai have it. Let him have it. Now. Go on, Ben. Let's make sure someone's filling in for Benny Blanco, boys. We've got to do it together. To be fair to Bayern, getting out of that's an exaggeration, but they've got out of it, ain't they? Leroy Sane. Kimmich. I'll tell you, you must be able to persuade both of them to sign for us, man. Must be able to quickly. Kimmich, you know you want to come do up London. Joshua Kimmich. Oh, Goretzka making runs off the ball. It's the runs off the ball. Lovely defending by Tommy Asu. He's on his own, though. Go as far as you can, Tommy. Ref! It's late one. Not going to lie. I thought that was a good tackle still. Unlucky, Tommy. Sane, stop all them ballerina skills, man. Musiala and Sane attempt to play a one-two. Safe. Martin Wondergaard. Declan Rice. Oh, Declan, you can't lose it there, mate. Musiala. Dodgy stepovers from him. Oh, he's found Goretzka on the edge of our area. Another corner to buy in. Come on, boys. Right, put, put the ball down, man. Focus, what are you doing? To be fair, that's a good tackle by Guerrero. Great tackle. Must be like their 10th, 10th 11th corner. 9th, 10th, 11th corner by and Something's got to give, unfortunately, at some point. I don't know. We definitely had a corner. They've had six. Bayern have had six corners. Arsenal have had none. That's the way it goes. Shout out to Andrew and Lobo. For resubscribing with Amazon Prime, by the way, as well. In swinging corner from Kimmich. It's a good ball, you know. No, nah, I'm lying. Camera did it dirty. Losing our calm on the ball. Gonna need to find that. What happened to our set piece? It seems like we haven't had a goal from one since Jan. I wish maybe just one of those things, man. Maybe teams have clocked us in that regards. Maybe we need to try new routines. Either way, it needs to return. Today would be a great time to do exactly that. William Saliba. Where's my charger? Benjamin White. Saliba. 
Oh, aye. Shaky one. Odegaard. Things I love to see. Saka in behind. Oh, aye, ref. That's the smartest foul I've seen by Muzuari. He's fouled him off the ball. Saka, come on, box him in. Box him in. They're even nervous now. What do I know? They've got out of that. Lovely from Odegaard. Lovely from Lemay. He just kept it moving. The game's getting open and so is my stress levels. Joshua Kimmich. He's changed his boots at half time. What a player. Sane. Ooh, ooh. Raya gets a touch on it, but it's still gone all the way out here to Guerrero. Rafael Guerrero, that's a ball. Bro, wait, what? Kimmich has scored. I can't believe I'm waiting. It's a great goal from Joshua Kimmich, but why is everyone waiting to head of the ball? Switch on. Don't crumble now. You knew this was a possibility. If we, well, it looks like we're going out on that. If we go out because of that, that's very, very disappointing, you know. Everybody's flat-footed, just waiting for the cross. And nobody can see Kimmich, let alone, you know, put him off that run he's making. I saw, that's a fucking shit goal to concede, pardon my French. That is horrible. The move initially died. Sane's over-crossed it. Ryan's got a touch on it, not blaming him. It's full-back to full-back, really. Guerrero, it's a lovely ball. It's a lovely ball from Guerrero, from Bayern Munich's Guerrero. But we switched off, just like against Aston Villa. I'm not blaming anyone, but we've switched off. One of the smallest men on the pitch, probably, in Kimmich. So you know you've done something wrong. Martinelli, Rice, Tomiyasu. He's got a complete free run there. Boy. Boy. That's his first goal in 10 matches. What a time to get. Bayern Munich 1, Arsenal 0. Boy, you got to keep your nerves. It's been a good... You know, the second half has been a good start, really. It's been kind of really and fairly end-to-end. -end. For us, that's horrible to concede, though, man. Horrible. Lamir advancing. It could go from bad to worse. Sane on this right-hand side. Finds the goal scorer, Joshua Kimmich, who headed by Munich in front. Boy. Whole defence ball watching. Declan Rice, Trossard, Trossard, Tomiyasu, Declan Rice, Martinelli. It's too late and Bayern should be in here again. We're so lucky. We're so lucky Sane, Sane has fundled it over. I'm not going to lie. The reaction to going to go down is not good enough. That's two opportunities they could have been in behind once again. Told you a lot about Guerrero before the game kicked off. Martinelli a stank all game. To be fair, I actually think he's been one of our better players, man. Martinelli's got to be aware. He has to. But to be fair, he looks like the only one half aware. It's clearly not good enough. All ball watching. And you're right. Kimmich is your man, Martinelli. And obviously, look at that shot. It looks like there's an instant reaction from Mikel Arteta because it looks like Gabriel Jesus will come on. Now, I would hope that's just for Kai Havertz, but I could understand if I think he might take off take off Jorginho, drop Kai Havertz in midfield, which we saw against Villa is not the thing to get Jesus in. Or maybe it's a straight swap for Martinelli. Kai Havertz, Jorginho, boy, running into traffic there. Musiala, Guerrero, oh my God. Jorginho, I had to foul him. I rate that. Guerrero just twisting Dons up. And to be fair, Jorginho, he's, he's done a lot of them. Well, to be fair, I, I thought Jorginho was getting booked. Buying coach has been booked. The coach is tough. If they'll try to let him talk to you like that, you should send him off. Gabriel Jesus and Trossard will be entering the field of play. So, yeah, is that Jorginho's going to come off. Clearly, Kai Havertz is going to drop into midfield. Or is he going to do a thing where Odegaard drops, Trossard comes on? Come on, Jesus, man. Should have started. Crap goal to concede, man. Huh. 
<sighs> bit of deflating, but I don't want them to be deflated. Thank you. Instant impact from Jesus. Just nudging someone. That's a monstrous tackle. Who's that? They lit taking no prisoners there. It is a yellow card. Trust her. See, I mean, trust her. It is a foul. Just relax, man. Everyone just relax. He ain't got plan B, man. I'll take his soul. Think so much on plan one. Plan two don't always happen, man. Not closing, closing down crosses. Not doing anything. Been telling guys we should be trying to sign Guerrero. You have so much control, but no threat. It's highlighted, man. Cannot switch off for a moment. Need players with individual moments, man. Especially in things like this. <laughs> well, Kai Havertz doing not midfield. Martinelli's come off. It's predictable, man. Very, very predictable. Gabriel. William Saliba. Got to know how to sell it, man. Got to see if they want it. There will be a lot of disappointments across the two legs. You know, we've had two clear-cut chances not taking them across the two legs. Not really worked, you know, yeah? I wouldn't say we've lacked belief, but it doesn't look like we fully believed we belong here yet. Going out free to an aggregate is fairly respectable, but again, I'm not saying I want to go out. Got 20 minutes to find some goals, or it's done. Ah, the finals at Wembley as well, isn't it? Benjamin White, Bakayo Saka, Chossart. Looks bewildered as he tried to play that pass to Odegaard Saka and it had no chance. Declan Rice. When you ain't got a clinical striker and you ain't got a press resistant eight that can play 90 minutes, this is what happens. Jesus loses out and it feels like it could get a lot uglier, uglier if, if we carry on like this. Jesus wins it back. That's a yellow. Need players with moments of individual brilliance, man. Not quite grasp the concept of fine margins. I understand not taking Kai Havertz off, but at some point. Surely you've got a gamble with a Thomas Party. Never Musiala's looking for it. This guy's such a Musiala is such a baller, man. Skips past everybody. Ridiculous. It's about to be two. Thank the Lord for Gabriel. But what's that, man? Boy, standards. It's another corner, but come on, man. We're looking shaky, man. Get a bit nervous, boys and girls. Wait, I said I would have started A's use today. <sighs> Not ready for this stage yet, man. Joshua Kimmich. I don't know what one nil is quote unquote respectable again. Um, there's still a decent amount of game. I don't want to go out, but we ain't got that in our locker to progress past this at the moment, man. I think this young team has differently learned that the champs is another level. Take this as a learning experience. It, all you can do is le serious levels in this. Even that, someone could have told Benjamin White he had time, but he ain't got eyes in the back of his head. That's the difference. Their players look a lot more seasoned here. Even our players that have played in the champs. But as you said, learning curve. 
doesn't make it any easier to swallow though, man. Boy. First time in a while, Kai Havertz, you've been in the well, to be fair, Aston Villa weren't that far away, but you've been ineffective. I understand why you're still gonna stay on in central midfield. You give us a lot of bite and determination and all that, but yeah, man, I'd rather gamble with party, man. Like you said, these guys are not ready to win. Look, I love this team, but watching the Champions League, I notice how far we are away, man. Some Arsenal fans were saying bring on Real Madrid and all of them at the beginning of the competition. We don't have any game changers that can take the game by the scruff of the neck and change the game on a consistent basis. We've got players that can produce some individual moments, but we don't have a player where that's kind of inevitable. Bukayo Saka. Benjamin White wins it. It's getting scruffy, man. It's getting very scruffy. Corner ref. Why is Havertz still there? He wants German. He wants German league to win rather than his team. Harsh man. I mean, Saka. If, if we've ever needed a half decent cross, now's the time from this in swinging corner. It's actually a decent one, really. Bit too much on it. Surely another corner ref. I'm not sure what Noyes complained about. Not enough people at the back post. Yeah, what's he complaining about? Declan Rice, please, man. I'm not angry. I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed, really. You're indifferent. DG Smile, man, at least you got to the quarters. You make me sick. Why are you asking X-Man to smile as well? I know I'm sexy, but... Hey, we're back! Oh, life is cruel. Is that another corner, ref? Or are you saying no, he's been fouled? The camera angle can be so cruel. Maserari's coming off of Kim Min Jae. They're just trying to lock it down now, man. They're just trying to lock it down now, man. Is that slightly, is that even a, a change of, of formation? Like, is Guerrero just going to play as a left-back and they're going to introduce a third centre-half? Ref, you can't walk. He's walking, Ref. Hurry him up off the pitch. 15 minutes left, Ref. Since when? He's walking. It's not hard to be better than, than, than holding, man. Bad way of going at things. Arteta says the squad is challenging enough. But no one can replace or sub for Saka and Odegaard. I wonder why. Who knows? There's a counter-attack here from Bayern Munich. Musiala. This guy's a player, man. Dancing past all of our team. I think he's earned a corner for his troubles. He has. The problem is Arteta should have started Jesus. Man always tried to believe, but not this time I feel we're dead. We're not ready for this one. We're not ready for the burnabout. Would it be good for confidence? Not at all. Out the Champions League and EPL in the space of a few weeks is to hope that kills us. Boy. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. I mean, it's literally not. It's 76 minutes on the clock. It's not over, man. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, people. Optimism settings. Optimism. Come on. It's not over to the fat lady sings. I mean, she's having rehearsals in that, but it's still not over. And I'd say take nothing away from our players. I'm proud of them for getting to this stage. I think they're all good players. But I'd say for me, just as a fan, trying to get that equaliser, there's not no one that I believe is going like, to do it, if it makes sense. If there's a moment of individual brilliance by then, yeah, Saka, Odegaard, all these guys, quality. But there's no one I look at and I think you're inevitable, like a Thierry Henry, like a Kevin De Bruyne, or like at this in this day and age, you know, at times it's been Neymar, it's been Mbappe, it's, you know, Dembele yesterday for PSG. We ain't really got that. And plenty of others, Vinicius, plenty of others. We ain't got that. Shut up, Lemire. You know what you tried to do. You tried to block off Odegaard. I like the fact Odegaard even tried to barge him. Eric Dyer has been helped so much out by Musiala this today, but doesn't mean nothing. Bakayo Saka. Ref! 
immediate yellow card. Odegaard can do that, but he can't be the only one. Odegaard can do a lot, great performer, but he's never going to just like, Kevin De Bruyne is just going to bang it from, he might just drive into space and bang it from 30 yards. I don't think we're at that stage where any of the players, I think they all collectively do their job. I think they all want to make the difference. I don't think there's a player that goes, yeah, I'm going to run the show. I'm going to, I'm, it's my personal duty to get this team out of it. Don't think we've got any of them guys. We had it even with Cesc Fabregas. Martin Odegaard delivers the corner. The dead ball scenario, sorry. But that's the thing, man. We ain't been creating much. Kevin De Bruyne just scored. The fun, you see, the funniest thing. You know, guys that are inevitable, see? Right on brand. Well gone for these men in the final pass, man. Are playing passes like they've got agendas to all their old teammates. It's just their levels, man. Let me see this goal. Real Madrid City's not done yet. Ra, Jeremy Doku actually playing against a half-decent team. Oh, that is horrible from Rudiger, though. Great finish by Kevin De Bruyne. But that is horrible from Rudiger, though. DG Curse, I was praising him and saying in, on this week and saying in competitions like this, this is where I would love a Rudiger in the squad. Sane. Kimmich. Dyer. Oh, thank the Lord for Saliba there. Or we would have been two goals down. Kai Havertz. Passing like you hate your teammates. Gaffer. There's 10 minutes left. Party thing, man. Big up Havertz. But Arteta. Come on, man. Come on. Arteta. Come on, man. Come on, man. Arteta. Come on. Come on. Please. Go on, Declan. Go on, Declan, by yourself. By yourself. That's our ball into Jesus. Jesus, please. 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 Come on, man. It's a, I'm being so harsh on him. I hope you're offside for your own sake. But come on, Jesus, man. Rice, well in. As I said, make the difference. He probably would have been offside. Come on, man. Hold your run. We've had two corners, seven attempts. I don't want this Champions League run to end now, man. Come on. We ain't been here for a minute. It's got to end now. It's like a rave when people started fighting for no reason. Now the, 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 the girl who's having the house party, the, the, the parents just have come out of the yard, man. Oh, man. And if this was a rave, let me get in the jerk stand line, man. Get my hard old bread and jerk chicken and go home, man, because it's, it's looking like the party's done. Ah, oh, man. Come on, man. The frustration, the anxiety is now. I was really calm. Now it's just hit me. I'm ill. I'm ill as well. Like, I'm ill as well. Like, it's not over to the fat lady sing Saliba. Be strong. Be strong. That's our throw, but you're better than that. Come, take it. Take it quickly, Ben. Come quickly, man. Why? Kirio, you're getting warmed up for no reason. Fabio, you're getting warmed up for no reason. I'm vexed. You ain't even done that, Saliba. Come on, man. Come on, look after the fucking ball, boys. Come on. Because it's going to get worse. Ref, how long is he taking with a throw? Come on, man. Ain't you the lad they rated at Napoli? You're lucky Tuchel's leaving. Oh, we're going to concede again. I can tell, man. Look at the positioning. Musiala. Throw into Vine. Oh, wait, whatever that is, what's, what is. DG, do we really belong at this level? Quarterfinals, yeah. Winning this thing and being in the conversations with the Bayerns and Madrids and doing all of that stuff. No, not ready for that. We ain't got what they got. We got a good foundation, a good base, we're on a good trajectory, but we ain't got that. You either have to do, and I know they're out, but you either, if you ain't got like Vinicius and Kevin De Bruyne and Lionel Messi and all them guys, you got to be on this athletic, oh no, say swear. Don't get sauce like this. People are doing flicks. It's going, it's going between my players' legs. 
It's, it's calm getting ripped. Just don't let it enter a goal or something. I'm getting bopped at times, man. We're just not levels, man. We're just not levels. You either got to do the Atletico Madrid thing where it's just mentality monsters. It's just a bunch of scumbags. We're going to make it very difficult for you lot. It's the only options. We're kind of doing half and half. So you do neither. Just not yet at the level required, sadly, man. Didn't lack commitment, but did we behave fearless, as fearless as we can? Bye. I mean, silver lining is we know we're going to be in this ne next year, isn't it? Do it all again next year. Well, Arsenal's Champions League story ends with Bayern Munich eliminating us, but it's been a lot more respectable. And as much as I'm saying that, there is still time on the clock. William Saliba. Benjamin White. Declan Rice. Bare limitations. Like, they just not got individual brilliance. Lacking that number eight. I love it. I love it, Benjamin White. If we can't win foul, man, innit? I'm here for this. I'm here for this. I'm here for this. Because they've been bopping us all game. Sir, man, I've been running with Guerrero. Madman. Musiala, madman. I don't mind that, man. I don't mind that. What's to cry? Give him something to cry about. Learning curve, man. Learning curve. But how long is Noya taking? I tell you, I really, I'm just, I'm just saying this for no reason. But come, man. There's got to be someone on the bench. There's got to be something your coaching staff has said you could do, man. Bring on Nelson. Bring on Thomas Partey. I've got a lot of time for Kai, but he's bringing nothing. At least Partey, he, he might lose the ball, but he might just turn and split a defence with a pass. Come on, lad. I, do you know what? F it. Bring on Zinni, man. Z Zinni, come on. I right, go on, Jesus. Brazilian. Yeah. Ref! Yellow! Ref! Come on! Musiala, stop breading. Stop breading. We know you didn't mean it. Ref, you, how many has he done today? How many has he done? The flicks are now all cool, but Jesus can be part of the squad. You can't be relied on, man. Be a commentator. Would love to, man. Put me in touch with the people, then. Gigi just concede it's over. We ain't winning ish again. Our tech needs to improve our mentality at this point. Questions need to be asked in regards to this factor. It's happened too many times now. To be fair, the player's not built for this, man. Quality is lacking, can clearly see. There you see it. Yeah. Man said Eddie. Man said Eddie, blood. Your defense, Tommy asked you off. Your defense is in trouble and catch you in the room. Don't watch that, Tommy, man. So what? Trossard's going to do some wing back thing, I guess. Martin Odegaard delivers. It's horrible from him. Oh, fuck off, ref. Free kick for what? Fucking hell, man. Everything. And boys, as frustration, as frustrating as it is, this is what you don't need to learn, you know, how to frustrate sides. Win fouls where there's none. Ref, how long's Noya taking? Come on, ref, you're boying it. You're actually boying it on several fronts. You wouldn't get your 30 quid if this was Barnet Sunday League. Dead. Let's hope they don't get a second goal, man. The deluded we need to discuss Saka like he can't. Well, Saka was crap, but well, he's our guy. I'm not going to turn on Saka. He shit like everyone. Marnelli better than him, man. Marnelli does nothing to scream a shout about. And even with Saka and a lot of these, bro, it's un but my man's 22. He's not the guy like that. Great player. City don't rely on folding to that level. So what we did. These guys are good youths, unfortunately. They're all, they're all good youths. They're good guys, good players. You're not greats. You're not mentality monsters. It'd be nice to win. Win is not the only thing currently yet for us. And until we get there, it's a myth. Martin Wondergaard. Oh, please, we're back. Okay, that was it. That was it. He's on the corner. Wait, what? 
Don't take the piss, ref. No, I can't even believe it. Bro, so, are you are you for real? We haven't got a corner. Bro, ref, what the fuck's Noya doing? Oh, they're making a sub. Linesman, you're a prick as well. You're an absolute prick. How can you not see that's come off Noya's hands? Noya's been one of the greatest goalkeepers ever. Have you seen his hands? They're, some, they're not normal human hands. Do you mean you can't see that's gone? He's touched it out for a corner. Fucking dickhead. Fucking prick. If we're going to lose, we're going to lose. But do this thing properly, man. Upper Marcano's coming on. God, please, man. Football gods, man. He's due to make a mistake. He's definitely got the Bambi on ice. Metric about him. Please. Where the Champions League's over, it's over. Our season. Premier League, you've got six games to fight, in it? Right, give it back to White. No one panic. No one panic. There's a, we're going to get one chance. No one panic. Please, no one panic. I just need a bit of brilliance from every one of you out there now. One last effort. Come on. Carry it, Declan. Carry it. Fuck all this short passing stuff. Eddie, I just need you to get on to Manuel Neuer. Lovely. Saka, man. You might be a left back still. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, are you a dickhead ref? Bayern, your, your fans are pricks. Man, are throwing two balls on the pitch. Ref, come on, bro. All right, Arsenal fans, see what you need to do at the Emirates. This is the requirement. Gabriel Jesus, he, can you just stand up front? Ref, that's a bait yellow card. Saliba, you, we're fucked. Saliba's got to be stronger there. We're in trouble. We're in trouble now. It's peak. It's peak. Harry Kane, Musiala, it's peak. It's peak. We're lucky. We're lucky Musiala's bottled it at the last stage. Make him a dance. This is the levels. Can't believe we've not got a corner for that ref. Trust not really seeing you today. Still my guy though. It's just the, the frustrating thing is it's just you just have that feeling of there was more four minutes of added on time. There's just more to give. We brought on Jesus Trossard and now Eddie, who's not really played that long. But where have you given them, Eddie, the touch, man? Trossard to Eddie and Ketty. He's def There's definitely no offside flag. Musiala, put your hand down. No one be a hero, bro. You see what I'm saying? Declan Rash, I be a hero. Saka's pull it back across. Bro, how's that? Not We're out. We're out, fam. How's that not going in the back of the net? And it's been given offside. You know, after the game, you're going to get your reaction videos at some point tomorrow. Tactical reaction. I'll be here with Jess. She knows Arsenal to speak this game and everything else. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, stop being nice. Bullying, man. Oh, Dio, shut the fuck up, man. Top three chocolate bars. I don't even have that, man. Cadbury's and that. It's too late for it to flare up, man. It's too late. I don't know how we never got corners. He's boy, and he got three minutes left. Right, the only thing that I want Edu and Arteta to do with what's left of this game, go and go and talk to Joshua Kimmich. Let's get that signed, man. Come and have a new challenge. Come, we need you. Problem with some Arsenal fans, you don't think life is Disneyland, man. We're not going to get to where we need to with certain man. Come on, Trossard, bro. Trossard, how have you given away? Focus, man. Seriously, Trossard, stop arguing with the ref because you know what you did. Angry with yourself. Of course Kane's going to play for that and make a scene. It's all we've seen from you today, Kane, man. In fact, over the two legs, you put the penalty in. Cool, you're great. We'll support you during the Euros. But shut up, man. It is a foul, Trossard. Soft one, but why are you doing that? You know what's going to happen. Who's he booked? Who have you booked? 
Pokes Gabre, you lot might as well just come up the ref after the game, man. Simple. Fucking puta. Nah, it's not an Arteta outing. Much love from Kenya, DG. This channel is about the only positive thing about being an Arsenal fan. Appreciate that. But this is what happens, man. Like, life's not Disney Channel. Like, obviously, this is the squad we've got. You can't rock up with some of these guys. Some of them just haven't got it. Some of them will never have it. And I'm, I'm not, that's not even me being negative. Well, this is something. It's just their level. Certain man not got their levels. Look how quicker, sharper, crisper, speed of thought, all them things there Bayern Munich have. Now, a lot of it is obviously down to the lack of experience. Hey, Gabriel Jesus, if you ain't got a Rory de Lap throw, move from the throw in. What are you doing? There's 30 seconds left. What are you doing? Bro, that was dead. Man. Yeah, you man are dead, man. Where the... Hey, this ball boy is a dickhead, you know. If I was like 13 or something like that, I'll beat you up. For that foolishness. Benjamin White, it's 10 seconds left. Aye, just be brave, man. The miracles happen. Aye, Saka, just bang it. Forget everything. Now you've got to live a move. Rev! Aye, please. I don't know the last time Arsenal scored a free kick. Why would we take it quickly? Are you man smoking, Budge? We've got a corner, but come on. Why? Raya's gone up for the corner. God, please, man. Last kick of the game. Hey, Raya, get your head on this, man. You know what? Champions League, anything happens. Well, Saka. Well, it's the end of the Champions League, Jenny. Boys, get up. Get up. I don't want to see anyone on the floor and all that. Get up. First thing, go applaud the fans that made the journey. Get up, man. Be feeling sorry for yourselves. Should have been feeling sorry for ourselves in 180 minutes of football. Credit to Bayern Munich. They're showing what Bayern Munich are. People have a lot to say about Bayern Munich and their domestic form. They're still Bayern Munich. It's still a big club for us. It's all a learning curve, isn't it? We shot ourselves in the foot in a couple of different ways across the two legs. I still think we need to buy a couple of things in the market. We can be proud of our debut season since we've returned. But it's the levels. We don't have the individual billions. We don't have a potent striker. We don't have that number eight to allow our attacking players to stay further forward. We've switched, you know, the last three games, including now, we've switched off defensively. We've not controlled the fine margins, like with Martinelli's effort. We haven't created a number of efforts. We've competed. We ain't been bulldozed. We ain't been blitzed. We ain't been embarrassed. Yeah, other fans are going to banter us and run jokes and, yeah, Arsenal bottled it again and cool. That comes with the territory. It's something to build upon. Bro, look at look at this. What man? So we we. Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Man, relax, relax. I ain't coming to give words, but like literally, what the fuck is going on with your team right now, bro? For real. What are you talking about? We played Bayern Munich multiple times, weren't winners of the Champions League. Thomas Tuchel's won the competition. Their players, their their, their team is star studded, and we've lost three three one on aggregate, three two on aggregate. We can leave. We can have nothing but pride in our performance. No, do that, Cody. Because if it was me, you'd be getting on to me. Nah, I wouldn't, man. I wouldn't. Nah, no, no, but for real, like, what the fuck is up with Arsenal right now? Mind the setback, major comeback, man. The the the, the road to success is never straight, man. Oh my days! Like, oh my days! This is crazy. You're acting. You're acting. There's nothing crazy. We lost the game. Would you be this crazy? Two on the bounce, bro. What do you mean? So two comps. But, but I'm I'm not gonna lie, you support Chelsea. Just because you want to one little run now, you're doing too much. Hey, I was like cold karma. That's what I'm gonna say. Who is, is that? Who is that? Who is that? I don't know him. You know, you know, you would rather have him or Kai Havertz. No, no, Kai's well, Kai's a good player, very adaptable, he's, very. He's, he's been a decent player. So I'll give him that. I'll give. I can't lie, he's actually shocked me. Yeah. What, what, so what do you want to talk about, bro? Like. Young football, it? What's that? What do you want to know, man? Hey, man, like, 
what, what, like, what, uh, honestly, what, like, what's your prediction for the rest of the season, like, Premier League-wise? You just got to keep fighting and working hard and praying to God, man. Be disciplined. See where you go. But do you think you guys are going to win the league? That's what I want to know. In many ways, you know, if you're talking about winning the league in terms of obviously, you know, being top of the table, I've never been one to look at the league table. You could say that we're in a mathematical okay, fight with that. I don't want these, I don't want these media trained answers, <laughs> blood. I need, I need the roast you. <laughs> I need that nigga I went to school. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, chill with the love. Um... um I think in many ways, if that if if you if you if you're looking at it under a different metric, we've already won the league. Players are improving. We come to envy you. This is all part of the this in major minor setback, major comeback, man. This is all. Nah, because you, you lot are racist and sold yourself to the devil. Spent, hey, spent hey, a billion quid, mate. Hey, 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 chill, chill. <laughs> Do, do matter, Not yours, you prick, man. Fuck off, man. Bayern Munich cannot win this competition. They've done nothing to me but what they've had to do. But to see Eric Dyer celebrating, they must not win this competition. I don't really care, because at least we can say we lost to the winners, but... They must not win this competition. <sighs> Saliba well below par today. Kept charging forward and shoving man. Jorginho, good first touch. Turned up in the second half. Martinelli just anonymous. Only Tommy Rice and Odegaard up to scratch. Tough week, man. Kai Havas didn't even utilize himself man we gave a good account of ourselves but we're not good enough for the Premier League champs need a striker maybe an upgrade on our title to get us over the edge as much as I love him it's peak out here man it's peak out here man I don't need to talk to Rums about nothing man Nah, man, I'm never running from a quote call. I'm never running. I, I never, listen, never hiding, frontlining. We don't run. And plus, the amount of verbal I give people, look, 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 look. Chat to your team. Well, I've got, look, my... Well, girls are running bands, respectfully. People that don't even watch football. I don't know how I feel. I can't say a, a sense of pride. But I don't think it's one where over the top, slag off every player, slag off the manager. I think we give a good, give a good account of ourselves today and across the two legs. But at the same time, I always say, and I said at the start of this, I wanted no regrets. I wanted the team to push themselves to the limits. If Bayern Munich win, then Bayern Munich win. And I think we competed, we didn't get embarrassed. But I think if you... Well, to ask those players, I think a lot of them played with a handbrake. I think a lot of them could have done more. I think a lot of it is down to, I think, where it's, there's many things we can improve domestically and obviously in this competition. But I think we're at a point now where in terms of challenging for a league title, we're being in the mix. And I mean, this is the first year under Mikel Arteta and our first year back in the champs. It feels like a lot of players in the roles they have, just on forward. they could have other roles here, but they just can't fill the boots they're in. I feel there's not a pl there's not enough of a plan B. When plan A works, it's great. There's not enough of a plan B. I think a bit of it is the experience and the growing pains that the manager and the players have to go to. And I think a lot of these players, they're just it's not even that they're not good enough. It's just in the roles you're playing in the collective squad, a lot of you cannot get us there. You ain't got that certain mentality monster sort of thing. You ain't got that scope of individual brilliance. We haven't got that collective siege mentality. And again, I think a lot of it is also down to transfers because it's another game where when you look at it really and truly, it's another game against a big team where what have we really done through central areas? Half of our chances have just come through wide areas. The massive damage we did was obviously switch off from, from the cross. You know, Martinelli's not following his runner, Declan Rice, Tommy Asu, somebody else who I can't mention is there making issues. I feel there were some minor errors at times, giving away cheaply and stuff collectively a lot across the whole team. But generally they did all right. 
it's fine margins, man. The last three games are a bit difficult to take because the two against Bayern now uh, and obviously against Aston Villa. You can't just look at football in a white and black sense, but Trossard against Aston Villa, Martinelli today, Benjamin White, um, obviously against Bayern. And there's been a number of occasions where, even though we're sharing the goals out and doing what we're doing this season, you need cold-hearted killers. You need someone with a bit of stardust. You need someone that's going to just lift this team on the shoulders and say, this is a me show. We ain't got that right now. We ain't got that. As much as it's about tactics and, and stuff, psychologically, I think we coped, but we didn't truly believe. And we ain't got them individual moments of brilliance, man. Now, I'm not saying Mikel Arteta, right? If you can find someone that does what Mikel Arteta does to a better level, then by all means, get it done. If you can find a Pep Guardiola, get it done. It is what it is. It's like, I love Bakayo Saka. If there's a better right winger out there and they want to sign for Arsenal, they make us better, get it done. But Arteta out as well to me. This is the first time in... A, well, to be honest with you, this is probably the first time in Mikel Arteta's Arsenal career for me where I'm disappointed of certain elements of our European campaign, but it's not been embarrassing. Terrible White was watching his man. He just let Kimmich run through on goal. Excuse my French, but that corner was pathetic and that last free kick can't wait for a proper striker. Horrible, man. It's all fun and games being, you know, mentality monsters when we're winning. Lack of composure, man. Three-ish goals conceded. Five terrible goals conceded in the last three games. So there are some positives to take. There's some L's we've got to eat. And then, yeah, that's where we're at with it. T-Bones, I haven't seen you for time. You're shameless. Enjoy your night, Chris, man. Jorginho, have what's Tommy Asu, ain't it? To be fair, I think Tommy Asu, obviously everyone let themselves down. I think Tommy Asu is one of our better players. Obviously, Martinelli's had a hand in maybe not scoring and whatever. I thought he was better. I thought Declan Raz played within his limitations as much as he could. I think the same with, with Odegaard. Don't think we found Saka enough, but Saka was shit. Havertz, shit. Anonymous. Jorginho, quite limited. Good at certain aspects, but again, like I said, certain men have gone to the limitations. Like, cool, I see Jesus do some Brazilian things and get a yellow. Him... Him, Trossard, but nothing off the bench. Eddie and Ketty, the game's already done. Don't know where that one come from. And yeah, man, we just... We, yeah, man. It is what it is, isn't it? Like, we go three to four seasons to get all these players you talk about, DG, but instead Arteta has faith in some kids. To be fair, I can retain faith in what we're doing, but you just need some more stardust. And it all depends. Clearly, the club are on this. If we can win a Premier or a Champs and the football gods shine on us, great. But we'd prefer to do this development thing. Winning, I do think we're a classy club. I do think we want nothing less than 100%. But, and again, it's no shame in this. We're not Bayern Munich. We're not Real Madrid. Beyond the obvious, forget the clubs and the stature. It's not winning is the only thing. It's, it's nice to win. We ain't at that level yet. Yeah, Saka can play with injuries and all of that, but you were shit today, man. Nah, you were shit today, man. Like, it's, it's okay. Saka's my guy. You're too shit. Lacazette and Aubameyang, Stardust, boy, I don't know. Don't worry, guys. We haven't won anything for four years. We won a sign in August. But we should be proud of this team. Enough is enough. I'm getting sick and tired. I'll tell you, did your best, but it's time to look for a winning manager. I'm not saying this to just keep Mikel Arteta. Because I've said I like Mikel Arteta. But if there was the new... Pep Guardiola or whatever on the scene or someone that could give us more guarantees of navigating these kind of crunch time moments, by all means, get it done. But who's going to come in? Big up Conte and all these guys, but I'm tired of hearing, get Jose, get Conte, get this, get that. Get this. It's not going to happen, is it? So, come on. It's wild, man. How about should have come off time ago? Play with the same players. The players are tired. That's how Arteta said we've got one of the finished squads in, in in the league many months ago, and I've mentioned it every time since. So when 
You can't really play what should be on paper your best central midfielder in party because he's clearly not fit. When you're relying on Tommy Asu, who can't give you 90 minutes, not that he was bad, you're in issues. And you probably are running the Benjamin Whites, the Sackers, all these guys into the quote-unquote red zone. But it's, it, it is what it is, man. Like, there's too many hot and cold players. It's the same thing I say with the Premier League. I'm not criticising none of these players beyond healthy criticism. How many guys can you bet on are going to be fit for the majority of the 38 games and there's a higher level of performance? There's not many. Saka's got 30 goal, uh, goal assists, goal contributions. So people can say what they want. He does that. I think Declan Rice is one of them. I think Odegaard's one of them. Showing his age in moments like this. What Saliba and Gabriel are one of them. Benjamin White got twist up one, two times. He's one of them. And there's probably a couple of others. Other than that, for a 20-man squad, you're, you're, you're searching. It is what it is, man. We're going to just keep doing the same old stupid things again and again and again. That is what it is. Roms, stop doing the shame listing. Stop doing the shame listing. It is what it is. <sighs> Arteta's got the Wenger thing about him, man. And he believes in certain shit, man. And I'm just speaking in general. Like, he believes in certain man. That shit, bro. That offside in Sunday league finished by Jesus was criminal. Two time to move on from him. But hey, first time we've been in Champions League for ages and people think we could just cruise through. Exactly. But I'm not saying you, but I do think some people will just be so ha uh, upset and irate that, you know, tro major trophy doubt, not won the champs, not done this, not done that. Some people will, you know, over leverage the fact that we've been like, we ain't been in this competition for time where it's in the middle. Like, there should be a bit of anger because it's not like we got battered. If anything, we shot ourselves in the foot. And it is our first year back. There should be elements that you take pride from. But it's a what-if thing. I always say, you know, if you look and look yourself, the players can look themselves in the mirror and say they gave 100%. Fair enough. One love for the super chat. Also, Arteta made the mistake to not let Odegaard drop deep and make the play. He was too high up the pitch to make a difference. Probably, but it comes back to, again, what you're doing in the market. Boy. We've got a long way to go in the league. And we've got a long way to go against, against well, in the Champions League. Ah, oh, man. Weird performance. Didn't really go for it. Could have been a draw, so switched off on the cross. Switching off on the cross, un unacceptable. That's the one thing I'm livid about. Unacceptable, because again... We've made a lot of defensive improvements this season. You're away from home in, against Bayern Munich. You can see the two crap goals last week against Bayern Munich off the back of off the back of you know the 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 Aston Villa game. It's terrible, man. Everybody's flat footed. I'm not here to do the blame game thing. There's several players like with the last four goals we've can four goals in the Champions League last week and today. Well, five actually because the two in the last two games last week against Villa and Bayern and today it's horrible. For a team that's, you know, I famously said on YouTube, we're an improved defensive side, not a good defensive side. I last week or the week before took it back and said, I actually think we're a good defensive side for years of saying different. Now I think I jumped the gun too early. He has one more season. If he doesn't win something, it might be time to look at other managers. Silver at Fulham, he keeps doing what he's doing. Saka does need competition. DJ, I don't think we're at the level yet and I'm on the fence as to whether our will get us over the line. So am I. I can't definitely say he wouldn't. I can't definitely say you could. It's your first time back in the Champions League and ultimately it's ended in failure. But the way you've navigated the Champions League for me has been a lot better generally than you have in the Europa League. The Prem, I see year after year. Well, the last two years, well, three actually, we missed out on top four to Spurs. There's been improvements, but for all the improvements, we shoot ourselves in the foot on the pitch and we shoot ourselves on the um, off the pitch. Like centre mid should be addressed, should have been addressed. No matter how you shape it, a striker is required. 
you need more competition slash deput deputizing for Saka slash somebody else. Probably need a one two defensive reinforcements. Fair enough, though. And for Arteta, he needs to find a plan B. There's obviously been times he's tweaked things, changed things, and done stuff. So I can't say someone as smart as him he has not got a plan B. But at the same time, it felt like that against Bayern Munich at home. It felt like that today. It felt like that against Aston Villa. It's like plan A has to work. I get Harry Kane off my screen. He ain't even done nothing to me, Harry Kane. Where's the remote? Where's the remote? I am doing tactical analysis in this game today. What is there to really... You think I'm going to watch this again? I, I am. But I, there's nothing more to say, man. Turn off the TV because the news channel is even going to be horrible and show that we've lost. In life. When my ex left me, people. There was, I was upset. I was vexed. And I told myself a piece of advice. Two. One, it is what it is. Two, charge it to the game. Go again, innit? Go again. Silver lining, we didn't get battered. And I'm not trying to find negatives or positives. There's none. Because in truth, I feel indifferent with our performance today and in the two legs against Bayern. I think there is a lot of positive statistics. We've shown we've competed. There was a lot of variables that were in our control and we didn't take advantage of such. I won't quite go as far as to say we've looked comfortable, but we, we, we've looked like if we was a boxer and was fighting a heavyweight champ, we're not going to get... It's a thing where we've stepped into this now and we're not going to get boxed up in 30 seconds, but the third, fourth round, it might get long for us, isn't it? So there are some positives, but ultimately, you know, the harsh thing is in, in sport, the winners win and the losers explain. But Munich fans don't care how they did it. They did it. Here we are. And again, when I look at the games against the top opposition, we shot ourselves in the foot several times. Sometimes we got away with it. Sometimes we haven't. Even Rice. Rice ain't got the passing thing in his locker to do on a consistent basis. Like I, I've said he's improved. And I'm not saying he's going to rock up and be some all-action midfielder next year. But when we signed him, some of you that are my regular supporters, you've heard me consistently say you will see a proper improvement with him next year. And even Declan Rice. I feel sorry for him. In the last couple of games, he's chasing lost causes. He's having to do everything. And it comes down to not fucking fixing the midfield. We've gotten away with that at times. I've got a lot of time for Jorginho, for, for a lot of these players. But there's too much players in the team that are flavour of the month. They'll give you a good couple of games on the spin. And I'm not singling out Jorginho or just saying him or saying he was the issue. There's really a lot of players that won't do this thing. Saka, we're relying on essentially a young, a very young man. He's done well to carry this team and get us to the point. I'll never turn on him. But he's not got that fugness in him yet to make the difference for us. He's a nice guy. That's the thing. We've got good youths. Nice guys. You look at the Invincibles. Who is nice? The Chelsea side. Who's nice? The Spurs. No, I'm joking. They've never done it. But you, on a serious note, you look at the Bayern, the Barca, the Madrids, the, the Arsenal sides, the City sides, the Liverpool sides. Yeah, they're nice guys. They'll help your grandma across the street and they'll give to charity and that. They're not nice guys. We need to learn the dark hearts. We need to learn the fine margins. We need to learn how to frustrate people. You saw Bayern exaggerating every foul, milking it and whatnot. This is the levels. And to be fair, you need to get burnt to learn from that. But we're not at that level yet. And I always say experience can be overrated, but it can never be overstated, man. It is what it is, man. Not clearing it. Saka, Saka criminal, Charlie. Criminal. Idiot thing from Saka. The one thing you need to get right. I do think the Saka hate is forced, but he's, you have to hold your lips. Same way if he scored from 30 yards today, I'll be waxing lyrical. And there's a handbrake. We can't... You look at Bayern, yeah? Obviously, a lot of it is down to, to, to personnel and all of that jazz, but... They're progressing from front to back very quickly. Ours, like things they're doing in two, three touches is threes and fours and fives and sixes and sevens from us. It's time to sign world class players, DG. I'm sorry, I'm tired of the system players, which are out of ideas if things don't go right. But to be fair, systems are everywhere, really. Our Terrain Goy makes too many mistakes tactically on team selection and his mentality is weak. Bit harsh to get onto his mentality. I don't think his mentality is weak. Let's win our next two, get ahead of City and be ready for the North London derby. All we got to do is keep moving. All we like, anyone wants to feel sorry for themselves. 
I don't want to hear it. What about Rai's positioning on the goal? Probably, but your keeper's the last line of defence. Before I ask questions of him, bro, what's going on? Stop it, DG, April day. I don't like it. Don't. And this is where they need to pattern up. Bro, even that, like, let's be honest, Havertz is playing up front on an accidental thing. I like him as part of the squad, but, boy, what did I tell you at the start was Thomas Tuchel? People are like, oh, yeah, they got two left-backs to double up against Saka. That's true. Told man, be careful what you're saying about that Guerrero guy. Musiala's probably worth 100 million, man. Um, I am mad, but it's a madness where... It's severe disappointment. Like, the only way I could relate it is, as a young man, I used to get in trouble a lot at home. Well, I had a lot of trouble in a lot of things. And you know the first couple of times, you know, your mum's going to wax lyrical, she's going to be vexed. But after, like, you've done it so much now. Like, I'm, not even, I'm hurt, like, I'm hurt, but I'm, like, there's no more energy to give kind of thing. And I'll, like you said there, like, she's bang on the money here. Or Teta likes to turn holes into housewives. Like, it's been romantic, but we just need some killers now, man. And killing comes down to everything we're doing. Nah, Saka's not overrated because nobody seems to rate him. Like, DG, one sign in one position, who you grabbing? Honestly, with my headspace right now, I don't know, man. But go get me Zuba Mendy to start. I don't blame your players. I blame Arteta. You ain't it? I blame both, man. Because same way the manager can get you out of stuff, there must be so many times them Real Madrid players have got their managers out of stuff. But yeah, man, there's too many there's too many hot and cold players, man. I mean, people can say their opinions. If they want to attack Saka, they can. Jesus is average. The boys seem flat. Do you think they're burned out? I think we need a stronger squad. They probably are. I keep faith in Martinelli, but I told people, bro, don't get excited off 15 goals in one season. Saka's the only one that's done it for years. We're carrying too many attackers. We've got too many inconsistencies defensively for the whole team recently. There's too many unanswered questions in midfield. We keep having the same stories about the same players that are injured. We lack a, a plan B. These are the things that need to be eradicated. Kimmich, please. Sane, please. But the dream is free. I hustle so separately, man. It is what it is, man. I mean, Saka and Martinelli are having their annual end of season slowdown. But even that, there should be other people that are doing this thing. I need to get it. I don't know what he saw there. But then you hear rumours we tried to sign Mason Mount. So would we have signed Kai Havertz with that? Where would Kai, would Mount have played as an eight? Who knows? Who cares, man? It's all hypotheticals. I mean, it's all right. No, I'm not watching the City match, man. The highlights thing, I'll be honest. I don't give a fuck about it. It's okay. We didn't play in this competition in like six years. We must go and get a striker to like, put the ball in the back in it. And like, there's a reality. We could have had a striker today. We could have had Kylian Mbappe. We could have had Harry Kane. We could have had whoever. What chances are being created? You will see a better Odegaard if you address the middle of the park. You'll see a better Declan Rice with a consistent partner. If we sort out the inconsistencies on this left-hand side, whether it's Jesus, Trossard, Martinelli, they will play a lot better. Then it's a case of... You lot need to learn and go through these moments. Matisse calling me. I right, shut up, man. You never answer your phone, man. Shut up, man. Ain't not trying to hear that. Man, they don't answer their phone to me and they think I'm going to answer. I mean, it must think I'm an idiot. Fucking nerdy prick. I mean, I do share your opinion about first time in 10 years, but, uh, bro, we're too passive today, like that comment says. Odegaard doesn't really affect the game on that truly elite level. Not the truly, truly elite, but I think he does for us. Jesus just moving mad, man. All of these guys showed their experience, man. Over-relying on Saka. To take to, to, to take nothing away from a crap poor team performance. Nah, I held my licks, bro. I didn't run. Matisse don't answer his phone. So I'm not answering my phone. Striker is not the problem. Matical. Not putting on any striker that can play the ball into the area. 
Nah, boy. I'm clearly not running. Matisse does not answer his phone to me. I can't even get a collab with him. So fuck all of that, man. Shut up, Matisse, because you're not answering your phone when it's me. Shut up, man. You nerd. You're a shameless brother. Shameless brother. Shameless brother. Can't wait till you get 100, 200k subs and you get exposed like Young Philly for motion dead things. Like, man. Glass is probably fogging up as well. He's saying you're gonna, your wife's gonna be pregnant today, isn't it? You're gonna get excited. Shut up, man. Big him up, boy. Shut up, man. No, you can't. <laughs> Shameless brother. Charlie, I can't lie to you, man. You're right. Eddie getting in the box. Eddie and Katie are that's Eddie and Katie are in it, really. Like it's like Moses in the Bible. We've been walking for 40 years. A couple of these guys have been with us. The promised land, we can see it. Not everyone's meant to enter the rave. Certain men are meant, are meant to be told their trainers you can't get in. Like not everyone can go where we need to go. So it is where it is, man. It is what it is, man. My enemies have enjoyed the last three games. Well, last two games, really. Shut up, Top Blue, man. Jesus isn't good enough. Always bringing on Eddie five minutes. Yeah, it doesn't work. We need a clear out party. Jesus, Zinni, Smith, Rowe, El Nene, Eddie. We're our better side. However, we played better football with Wenger. I think Arteta needs to start finding some... I don't even know the word, man, like... The system's good, but there needs to be a healthy balance and promote like just in the pardon me, individual brilliance, individual randomness. Like it's very choreographed. Boy, Eddie does better when he starts. He might go start somewhere else, man. Season isn't over, but looking forward to seeing how we operate in the summer. Need to find another level. Arteta is still learning. Many players still learning. Just need to keep moving forward. Football's an emotional game, man. Look at this guy, man. Hey, Matisse, you're a pussy, oh, you know. You know, every time I've called you, you're not picked up. You're actually a fussy. You're, you're actually an idiot. Like, oh my days. I can't believe how shameless you are. You ain't asked me as my mum all right in a minute. We move, man. I, I'm not gonna sit here and lie, man, but we'll review the game with Jess tomorrow. We might go live tomorrow for now. I'm gonna do a tactical review, but yeah, man. I'm an Eddie fan. He's proven better than Jesus. I'll take your word for it, man. Like, I'll take your word for it. I believe you lot. But on that note, people, winning, losing, drawing, it comes with football. You lot stay safe, stay blessed. Oh, right. Against this right back, Charlie. Oh,